Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video True Nerd, and welcome to the FTL Faster Than Light Birthday Live Stream Special. That's right. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, because there's no one else to sing this because Claire has abandoned me. Happy birthday to me. <clears throat> the the cat also didn't join in. Claire, Claire has abandoned me, and the um, the cat didn't actually uh, didn't actually join in. So it's just it's just me, it's just me sitting here, all all by myself. No, it's all sad, very sad indeed. So I thought I'd spend it with you. Technically, of course, my birthday was actually yesterday, as I did mention in the announce. My birthday was actually yesterday. Uh, but you know, I thought you know, some of you will probably be busy. Some of you would probably be busy on Friday, so we do it on Saturday instead, given it was so close. Like, I had it like my birthday like, fall on like a Wednesday. I probably would have done like a special in the evening on Wednesday, which I think is what we did last year, if I recall correctly. I'm pretty sure we did that last year. Uh, but I thought, you know, as it's Friday, we'll just postpone it by one day. So you want to, by the way, just to kind of get this out of the way, because it's, it's going to be asked. Um, if you want to know how old I am, um, I'm sufficiently old that I have to actually start putting thought into how old I am. That is how old I am at this point. I, I genuinely need to think about it, like, quite a bit of the time. The answer turns out to be 32. Um, but I, I genuinely have to think about this. <laughs> because, because like, at this point, adding a single year on adds such a small percentage to, like, anything that I need to actually think about it. <laughs> so, let's, let's just go over... Let's just go over here to add your game home. This is working correctly. This is all working correctly. Lovely! So, here we are. We're going to do some lovely FTLing. Now, I was thinking, we'll probably do, we'll get it for a few ships, because I was thinking of, like, playing around with some of the, um, the not necessarily so good ships. Like, in particular, yeah, I was thinking of starting off with the Vortex. Now, the Vortex is the worst ship in the game, uh, because you have only one crew member, and you start off with heavy iron and heavy laser, which are not desperately good. And you're entirely dependent on droids, pretty much for repairs and for defense. Now, that just means you burn through drone parts, and those are expensive. Those are so, so expensive. So, uh, we're going to start off with that. And you know why else I think this is quite nice? It's because there's only one member of crew. It's just John. John by himself, having been abandoned by Claire, who's off him. San Jose or something, I don't know. Just, you know, abandons me year after year, every time. So, you know, it just it just seemed like, you know, that was that was a good thing. So this is just John on his own, hanging out with a bunch of robots. Alright? So I kind of and those you are the robots, alright. That's that's the chat. Okay, those are all the people on like social media or whatever. And that that's Thomas. The anti-personnel drone is Thomas, who will go through my ship and hunt down and exterminate anyone who's not supposed to be there. Uh, so everyone be nice to Thomas down in the comments. He's, he's going to do his best while Claire's away. <laughs> so, let's just kind of... Um, actually, no, not the Vortex, though. The Hang on, can we fit this in? Uh, there we go. The all by myself. There we go. The all by myself. This is this is this. This is what the ship is. This is the all by myself with John, and and we can begin. And oh, oh this is just an excellent start right here. I've started in a cocking nebula. It's never, never a good sign. Anyway, we kick off uh, proper. Thank you so much to Stuart O'Hara, who just gave five pounds and said, "Happy birthday for yesterday." Can I be one of the victims or crewmen as it's my as it's my birthday on Monday? Absolutely, I will try and keep a list of this. I'll try and keep this. Claire is better at keeping lists of names. I will do what I can to try and remember who needs to be represented on the ship. Right now, we've only got the one crew member, but as we pick up new people as they join me. Obviously, you are all welcome to come and be on the ship with me because Claire can't be bothered. So Claire's not allowed on the ship, but other people can be. Thank you to Venus Victrix. Hello, Venus. I uh, was given two pounds and happy birthday, John. Good luck to the new crew. And oh, blimey, we've got some big donations already, actually. Thank you so much to Arnon Ballard, who gave us 50 US dollars. Thank you so, so much indeed. And said, happy birthday. And it is indeed, well, it does actually not, but it's kind of close. Oh, this is a troll galaxy. Look at this. Look, this is a starting point. Doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't go anywhere. Excellent starting point. I'm going to get out of the flipping nebula. 
as fast as flipping possible right over here. That That's a good idea. And we've got... That's Missile and Ion. That's not the worst thing. Uh, what sort of uh, station is this guarding? By the way, this is guarding... Hmm, can't tell what's inside, unfortunately. Fine, I think we'll take that on. To be honest, we'll take some light damage, but it should be okay as well. That that should be absolutely fine. Thank you to Logan Goforth, who gave us five US dollars and said happy birthday. <laughs> Lovely. How much power do I have, by the way? If I turn off that, I can have... I should probably just keep one system repair drone on all the time. Just like, and remember never to deactivate it, because if I deactivate it, then I'll need to pay for it again. But yeah, just like, I've got a bit of a power problem already. Which is, yeah, if I actually want my weapons on and I want one system repair and I couldn't have anti-personnel. So, you kind of need to start upgrading power immediately. You, you, I mean, it's very rare. Normally, the ships, like, you have enough power to run your starting systems. The Vortex, you don't. And it's already a terrible ship, but it's even flipping worse. So, we'll just begin charging up there. And thank you so, so much in particular to Yasir Afzal, who just gave us 200 US dollars. Thank you very, very much indeed. In comes the... Where's that going? Obviously. Straight to the cockpit. My one... Remember, if that guy dies, I lose. Thank you so much to Yazir Afzal. That's a hugely generous donation. It's ridiculous. But thank you so, so much indeed. And to Ben Miller, who just gave us two Australian dollars, which are pretty good dollars, and said, Happy birthday, you magnificent egg carton. And that guy's coming in to help out with the actual business over there. We're ready to go at this point. Take out the shields. And... Uh, yeah, that's down. And that means... You just hit the weapons room, didn't you? You absolute bastard. It's the one room you weren't allowed to hit. Because, like, the system repair drones are so slow. They're so cocking slow. And now don't, don't even think about it. Yeah, fix the weapons for... Oh, this is just going very well, isn't it? This is just going spectacularly well as a starting point. <laughs> oh, God. So that's, that's going to be more missiles coming in. Just hitting more crucial rooms. That's... Okay, but at least we've got this back. Get the heavy laser back on. Put the... He's going to try and put the fire out. Oh, this is just... This is just absolutely marvellous. Absolutely flipping marvellous. Thank you so much to Rusty Bike 5 He gave us 32... Oh, 32 dollars. I see what you did there. It said happy birthday. Thank you very, very much indeed. And we've just got to get the... Please don't hit the weapons room. Okay, that's the doors. Uh, get the ion on if we miss with this. If we miss with this, I'm going to be very sad. Right, we can finally get a shot in that's actually going to... There we go! We've finally done some cocking damage. The nice thing is system repair drones, as far as I'm aware, I don't think they take damage at all from um, fire. So they can just go into fire rooms and that's not a problem. So we've now got the situation control. But we've, we've taken a few knocks. We've taken a few knocks to do it. And also the oxygen room is, is on fire. That's never good. It's never good. Thank you so much to Amy Grace who gave us 549 in Canadian dollars, which I do, as I always said, agree are pretty darn good dollars. I'm just going to get that room damaged a bit more. There we flipping go. And thank you to Hayden Smith who gave two Australian dollars and said, Happy birthday, you fantastic Brit. Oh, that's very kind of you indeed. Now to, yeah, hopefully fix the oxygen. How, how much is that fire spreading, by the way? Because I can't open the doors. I can't space the fire. I've got no way of spacing the fire right now. Oh, God. This is just marvellous. And that's a miss. And because that's a miss, I can't fire the heavy laser because it's only one shot because heavy lasers are awful weapons as well. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. This is this is such a bad ship. There's more fire. There's just more fire there. That That's fine. That's actually hit. Uh, may as well try and take out the cockpit. That's a miss because obviously it is. This ship's so bad. And the fire has now spread back into the O2 room. Which is just which is just marvellous. Continue firing. That's a miss. So now the heavy This <laughs> ship is so bad. It's just it's just shockingly bad. And thank you to John uh Eberhans, who gave five years to and said, Happy birthday, John. Here's hoping it was a relaxed one. It was actually. Uh, even though Claire wasn't here, I got it uh, while I'm playing up the being alone. Uh, my sister did come and visit. So I got to spend it with my sister and with my nieces. So it was fine. They've actually recovered. They've got their weapons back on. Like, if you hit the weapon room, I'm going to be so annoyed with you. Right, just just kill. Please. <laughs> Ship is so bad. This is a basic, like, just starting automated drone thing. This ship is so catastrophically bad. It's embarrassing how bad it is. Just, just look at this. This is so awful. There goes the O2 again. I've lost a third of the health. 
I've lost a third of the health. Just how bad this cocking ship is. And there you go, because is that about to hit weapons again? Just fire, just in case. It finally went down. Yay! 18 scrap and defense drone mark one. I tell you what, that's actually not terrible. Defense drone mark one is not bad. I'll probably actually install that immediately just for the sake of having that actually set up. Because you don't you very rarely need two two um, repairs. And defense drone, if they do have that would have been useful during that. I probably would have redirected power had I had that during this mission. Because it would have meant basically that ship couldn't do anything to me. Um so yes, basically. This ship is trash, and we're gonna. I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna flip and prove it to you. Right, why don't I just quickly heal up there? And thank you very much to Eleanor Rose Thornton Waybray, who gave us twenty pounds. Thank you very, very much indeed. Said happy birthday to John. Before I started my classics, M ooh, wow, classics MA. Well done. Uh, because you made me miss it, I got a passive merit for my first year and start my second next month. Huge thanks for making me fall in love with the subject again. You're very welcome. It's absolutely lovely. Do enjoy class. I mean, I enjoy reading some of it to this day. My, I've probably, I've lost some of my language skill. Like, I, I've probably forgotten some of the vocab. My, but my knowledge of the language is still well enough and, like, culturally is still enough. I, I enjoy reading my own translations because I, I made all my own translations. And I've still got them. Excuse me. I've still all of my original translations, uh, just in an old file. So, like, I, I do enjoy reading my own. Is that ridiculously narcissistic to, like, read, like, you're yeah, thinking, oh, I won't read anyone else's translations. I can only read something if I've, if I've translated it myself by hand. Well, I do. Happy and uh, thank you very much to Urb. I was about to say happy birthday, Urban Cohort, but no, I've got that the wrong way round. Thank you, Urban Cohort, who wish me happy birthday, or to be precise, herpy burpy, you derpy, which is not entirely unfair, as well as to OT30, who gave two pounds and said happy birthday, John, kind of. That is one person with their finger on the pulse right there. <laughs> Ship is so bad. This is the worst ship, and this is a bit of a troll galaxy, but I think we're okay to go up this way. And thank you to Garuda1296, who gave five Canadian dollars, and said, uh, can you name a crew member? Sydney! Or rather, oh sorry, Sid yes, yeah, Sydney. Sydney for her recent birthday. I will try and remember to do that. What have you got? You've got, is that one basic laser? Have you just got, is that burst laser one or two? Because if that's just burst laser one, then you physically can't get through a block of shield, which would be... Interesting. No, that must be burst laser two. That has to be burst laser. Yeah, it must be. No, it's not. Where's your power going? I guess it must. He must have like multiple drones. Like he doesn't have any defense drones. So I'm guessing he's probably like me. He's probably got an anti-personnel drone and a system repair drone. So that's that's interesting. Well, in that case, for once, I can turn on. I generally don't like turning on auto fire. Uh, but don't fire that one straight away. Fire that one first. And then wait for that to actually hit. As soon as that actually hits, then I can actually turn the other one on. But yeah, he, he physically can't hurt me. And he doesn't seem to be running. It's not saying FTL's charging. So, all right, we're in good shape in that case. <laughs> Flipping marvellous. Thank you to Anna D, who gave uh, 10 US dollars and said, Happy late birthday, John. And to Tyler Brown, who gave 25 US dollars and said, Happy birthday. Thank you for all the quality videos you're always producing. You've got me into Fallout, Solaris, and Total War. Oh! That is excellent. That is an excellent selection right there. Right, now I can turn this on to automatic. Now we should basically win by default as time goes by. And thank you to Gringo Warfighter, who gave us another 10 US dollars and said, John, I absolutely love your channel and subscribe to your channel since your Fallout New Vegas kill everything run. That is, if you, if you join that right at the beginning, that is August 2013? 13? Is that right? That doesn't sound right. It must, no, it must be. Bloody hell, it's been a while. It's been quite a flipping while. That's certainly flipping true. Thanks for all the good laughs and the good times. Happy birthday, John. And to Jules Winfield, if two of children said, happy birthday, don't spend it all in one place. I will, pr I promise you, I will buy 200 penny sweets as well. And this is a good amount of... I definitely put this on hard mode, right? I, I, this, is a, this is on hard mode, right? Yes, hard. I was about to say, that, that seems very generous on the scrap. But I can, I can prove that's hard mode. So can, did I accidentally put this on normal? No. No, okay. We just seem to be getting a bit lucky on the old, uh, the old front there. Right, I might need to... Uh, I might want to think about, yeah, investing. A little bit here. What's the right thing to do? What's the right thing to do? I do like... Oh, do I not... Does this ship not start with sensors? Right. I mean, I, I knew this ship was garbage, but I didn't think it was so garbage it literally didn't get... Why would you have... This 
ship's bad enough. The ship's bad enough without it not having enough power to work and not having cocky sensors. Seriously, it doesn't need to be this bad. Oh no. Oh dear. Right, um, let's, I tell you what, I'm going to save up for a shop. I'm going to save up for a shop instead. Can't go over there, so we'll just loop round the top over here. Thank you very much to James Stewart, who gave us 10 new Australian dollars. Happy birthday from Oz. I never get to see a Steam Live. So glad I can catch one. i uh, been following you for years. Well, you are... Uh oh, what the cock is that? That's Burst Laser 3, isn't it? That's not fair. And they're about to teleport. Right, I need to... I need to come up with enough power to potentially turn on the anti-personnel drone. But I need to keep... I'm really regretting not upgrading my reactor about now. I'm gonna probably have to turn off the oxygen to fund an anti-personnel drone. <laughs> They're about to teleport over. They're about to teleport the cock over. Oh no. Oh no. No. No, this is this is probably where we die. Right flipping here. We'll just have to see what arrives. Because I can't turn off the shield. I can't turn well, I could turn off the engine. Hmm. Dodge right now is only 10%. I could just turn off the engines and basically be literally... Okay, where are the intruders? Uh, yes, yeah, screw it. Turn off the engines. Anti-personnel drone. Go and go and hunt. Uh, right. So that is now going to go and hunt. They're trying to take out the med bay that isn't even on right now. They've only sent over one person. So we should win that. Though they'll probably be off cooldown first. But now, now Dodge is at zero. Whatever room he aims at, when that fires... I might be able to knock out the weapon before it fires. Because if I get the... It just depends on whether I get lucky with the heavy eye on. Because I've got to be able to. That's got to be... How have you... Oh, that's only burst laser 2. Oh, okay. I thought that was a burst laser... Maybe it's just the ship looks quite small. Right, we've just got to hope we get lucky on this. Okay, fine. So we've knocked that out. But I need you to... Why are you not doing it? Okay. We've lost... I've lost the repair. Well, I may as well go and repair this myself, because I need, I need the shields back up before the beam activates. Because if the beam fires, that beam, that beam's about to fire. The beams hit the weapon room. Okay, now... We need the shields back. Okay, now I need you to go and hit the... Okay, hit the heavy iron. We've still got that thing's off right now. I need you to repair this room so that we can get the, the actual system repair droid activated again. Okay, he's now back on. Shield's now on in time to block that. You now need to go and... Well, there's no point you go... Okay, you may as well go and help. Go and help. Because we just need... We need this system back on as soon as possible. Because... Oh, this ship is so bad. How is this ship so bad? Did someone just teleport... Did someone just teleport back on? Yes, yeah, someone just teleported back over after uh, getting some healing. That's not doing anything, but that's now charging again. Bloody hell. Thank you to Javrin Cheng, who donated 10 US dollars. Said, happy birthday, John. I've been in a difficult time. This channel has helped me get through many of those. I know everything will be fine in a good way. And in comes some more fire. Sorry to hear you've had bad times. Glad to hear. It sounds like, you know, you're in slightly better times now. Put out that fire. That guy is, if we can just kill him before, come on, kill him before he teleports away. Okay, he's dead. Next up, this, that did more damage to heavy laser, so once again, I can't fire. That's going to fire again. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Meaning, once again, the heavy laser's down. I probably should have bought redundant capacity. It's always the weapons room. Stop it. I can't fire, you bastards. I can't fire. Right, why aren't you doing anything right now? Why is the power gone? Okay, you need to go and sort out this ship is so bad. How is this ship so bad? No, the shields. You need to get the... That room's on... That room's trashed. That room's trashed. No, it's not on fire. There's no fire. Oh, no. So... <laughs> this, this, is, this is what happens when John goes out into space alone. In the word, this ship is so terrible. It's shockingly bad. It's shockingly bad. Fix the systems. <laughs> Fix the shields. I think it's too late. Ah, that's too late. That's ships. I love this ship for being so terrible. Don't laser the corpse. Oh, it's such a terrible ship. It's so horrendous. I love, I love just taking it down occasionally. Like, I, I, it's even... I've come away from that thing. It's even worse than I went thought going in. Because now I know it doesn't have cocky sensors. Why doesn't it have sensors? This is amazing. It's just so bad. It, it's catastrophically awful. 
so, 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 so bad. I think we'll actually, you know, next time we'll probably take a good ship. We'll probably take a, a good ship out, in fact. And, yes, indeed. Right, let's have a think about what I want to actually see here. And thank you, by the way, to Jinx, who donated 20, I think that's Swedish Krona, and said, happy birthday, John, and to Fan of McGann, who donated five pounds, and happy birthday, John. Out of curiosity, did Tabby make a cake of you for your birthday? <laughs> She would have, she was planning to, but then she decided she was too lazy to do it, which, you know, feels very appropriate, all things considered. Sending best wishes your way, and to John Utley, who gave us 10 US dollars, and said, Feles cumpleano, Feles cumpleanos, which I'm guessing, well, it does very much sound like good birthday, uh, in possibly Spanish, I'm not sure, but something of that nature. Thank you so much to John Utley for that 10 US dollars, anyway, and to Jeremy Corp for 5 US dollars, who said, why is it whenever I come to an FTL stream, all I hear is that things are on fire, having a really bad time. Happy birthday for yesterday, John. Well, I think what we'll actually do is, I might just take out the Adjudicator. I think I'm going to take the Adjudicator out for a run, because the Adjudicator's actually, actually pretty darn nice. Uh, that, that, that's actually pretty darn nice. So, uh, I know there was a request for a... Uh, it was Sydney. There was a request... Wait, was it... I think, pretty sure it was Sydney. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And the first one was... There was totally a request for Stuart. Stuart O'Hara. That was a request. So, uh, Kevin... Kevin Fish is quite good, actually. No, this guy gets to keep being Kevin Fish. That name's too perfect to change. Uh, but Jan Magny over here. That could be Stuart. Uh, so there we go. Right, there we are. I've caught, caught up on that. So we've got Sydney, Fish, and Stuart. <laughs> because this, this ship is good ship. Because this ship starts off with, you know, a rocket launcher and a halberd beam, which can cut through one layer of shields. Uh, and it's got the Zoltan shield, so you can take four. Is it four or five? It's four, either four or five. Hits for free at the beginning of each fight, which is uh, really, really... I don't have Zoltan... Wait, do I have... Oh, do I have Zoltan C? I'd forgotten I had Zoltan C. Okay, you know what? You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. I have seen a couple of people mention Zoltan C down over there in the chat. I'd forgotten I'd even unlocked Zoltan C. I'd actually forgotten. Uh, I don't think I've actually ever taken Zoltan C out. I'm not sure I have, you know. Um. So, yeah, you start off with the battery system. You start off with a clone bay. Uh, yeah, clone bay is kind of interesting. I mean, I guess that's kind of a useful hedge against the fact that Zoltans are made out of paper and collapse. So that's, that's not so bad. Uh, so, yeah, you know what, I'll give it a go. And normally I'm not so keen on drone ships, but as we just, you know, took out a drone ship and it went to, as an absolute disaster, let's take out a better drone ship and see what we can, we can do here. Um, so yeah, this is, this can just, this can just be, um, this can be, this can be the all together. It's gonna be the all together, because we're all, we're all going to be in it together. Damn it. And Johnson, Logan Johnson, good name. All right, as there's now four crew members, I think I can actually be on the ship again. I think there's room for me on the ship now. So, new, 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 new. Rename that. Kevin Fish is obviously my number two. Uh, naturally, Kevin Fish is my number two. Uh, and then we can just have Sydney, 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 Sydney. And Stuart. There we go. That's lovely. When you join my ship, I get to rename you and occasionally regender you if that's what I want to do. And everyone's a slightly different coloured Zoltan, uh, which is nice. I'm the, actually, I don't like that one. I like the I like being the bright Zoltan. I mean, the bright Zoltan. Sorry, Sydney, you're actually getting converted into the. Is that the same colour as that? I think that's okay. Uh, does that, I'll give. I'll make Sydney the more yeah, the more yellow one. Then I can then I can tell them apart a little bit better. So that's all absolutely lovely. So yeah, this one's got the clone bay, it's got the charge iron, it's got a beam drone. Beam drones can destroy you just in the event that, like, you know, it can have you just be devastating if the shield's down, which the charge iron should be able to do. It's just a question of whether the, the charge iron will actually, you know, hit. Um, which is, uh, which is a big question, which is a big question. Plus, whether I'll run out of drone parts, because drone parts are expensive, really expensive. So we'll we'll see. And also, I don't have enough power for anything. Right, I think I need to... Oh yeah, this is a ship that's got like no power in its cocking reactor because it's entirely powered by by Zoltans, pretty much. So we need to um turn off the... Right, you out of the shield room. Out of the... Sh or rather, no, you... 
into the shield room. So that is now... That's now an ion-proof block of shields. But now... Okay, but I also don't have enough power to... To run... I might need to turn off the engine. Yeah, when we get into fights, I'll have to turn off the engine in order to... Oh, no, I won't have to do that. I'll just have to run this guy over to the engine room. And then I'll have a double... Oh, but then I can't activate the... Oh, cock, this ship is... What?! This ship's what? I can't tell. There's, I literally have no way of turning. Okay, I literally, literally need to run my Zoltans around. So, oh, this ship's crazy. Right, okay. So, this guy, every time we begin the fight, I just need to get this thing. I need to get this guy over here to power up the weapons. And then we need to run down over here and then turn off the oxygen and the engines in order to... Actually, no, if I just power down the engines, this guy can stay there. But then there's no point in being there. He may as well run over... Here. This is... This is interesting. Right, well, this ship's insane. Okay, good. I can see why some people said Zoltan C. The Zoltan C is a lot more difficult to use than the Zoltan A. I'll, I'll give you that much. I'll give you flipping that much. Oh, dear. Ah, marvellous. Thank you so much to Stuthruthrun, who gave two Australian dollars a happy birthday. Loving the crew to adventure. Oh, that continues tonight, so you are in luck. And to Jax Hill, who gave us five years dollars a happy birthday, John. Will you be playing Fallout 76 with Dan, Matt, and proper Matt? Hopefully, yes. Uh, I, I really do hope so. That'd be, that'd be very nice if that's what we can actually pull off. So I am hoping that's going to be the case. And to... Oh! Excellent, a beam drone. Have the drone cut the ship out. So that's convenient. That's normally, uh, that's normally good. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a good starting point right there. So I need to sacrifice a drone part, sure, but I'm... 30? Oh, weak system. So the first one actually costs, uh, yeah, that's, that's a 30. Okay, uh, that's two power bars. Yeah, okay, that's, that's gonna be expensive to do. That's gonna be very expensive. Ah, yes, to Vanilla Ravi, happy late birthday, John. FTL is always a joy. And to 10 by 39, he gave 10 US dollars and said, Happy birthday, John. Have an That's a very overpriced coffee. Thank you for your overpriced coffee for $10. That's even by London prices. That's that's cocking expensive. That's very overpriced. It is does look really nice, by the way, the Zoltan C, with the kind of the black and the red. That's very, very nice indeed. Welcome to Uncle Joe's Fix It Shop. Okay. And react. I can't even afford the cheap reactor upgrade. That'd be a really good deal for me. It'd be a really good deal. And okay, interesting. Ah, I did just say a couple of people flagging battery. Yes, of course the bat. I forget the battery. I forget the battery is a thing that exists. I always forget the battery uh, because I don't normally use them. So yeah, that provides up to four bonus power. Okay, so I can just power up the beam. Oh, but you kind of don't want a beam drone being powered up by a battery. For the most part. And that's already providing... That's providing four bonus power right there. Can I just deep... No, that that's because that's an auxiliary system. I can't power it up further. Fine. Uh, but I still need spare reactor capacity to hold it. Because right now that's wasted. Because I've only got... Yeah, I've only got two. So that even though that is four, it only counts for two. Okay. This ship is still crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Thank you to Nod Carl Pilkington. Who, uh, yeah, just donated 32 pounds. Another 32. Thank you very, very much indeed. Said, okay, so many happy returns to you, you magnificent bastard. Hope the cake's not a lie and the candles are plenty. Uh, won't be able to stay till the end as I'm off to a steampunk gig tonight. What do you call 10 Roman legionaries? X-Men. <laughs> terrible. You should be ashamed. Okay, so we're, we're in a fireplace right now. That's a fireplace. Okay, so... This guy immediately, uh, screw it, depower that, power that up to get it charging. And while this guy's on the move, we may as well just be evasion zero right now. Now that comes over here, now we can have the, okay, now we can have the clone bay on, I guess. And now we just basically wait for that thing to charge. Now there's only one bar there, so I may as well just start firing now. And if it hits, okay, so now... Fire up the battery. Oh, that just provides bonus space at the bottom. That's nice. Uh, and then I can fire up the beam drone. And I can also, as long as that's on. How long does that last? Quite some time. Hopefully, we can zap this down. Okay, there's one of their weapons down immediately. But we need to keep firing to actually let that... Ah, bad timing. Uh, just to make sure that thing actually does its job. So their mind control is down, which is good. Just basically keep firing at this point. 
And now, there we go. All weapons down. And now I basically just keep firing on auto fire at the... Actually, how do charge weapons work when it's... Okay, if you're on auto fire, that thing will just keep firing indefinitely. And now they're trying to escape. I'm not sure they're going to get very far, to be perfectly honest. And now just go. Fire. Fire. Ideally, don't let them fire, but job done. Okay, and now there's a small fire there, but we should be able to just uh, aerate that out into space. And that's a 14. Okay, so not great, but we can just uh, deal with that. Fine. Hopefully that fire doesn't spread any further. Should be okay. Thank you to Reggie Ator, who gave us five pounds. He said, happy belated birthday. Really enjoying Crusader Kings. It is great. I think it's one of the best series I've ever done. I think it's really fantastic. I'm so proud of how it's, it's going. By the way, the part on Sunday is nuts. Absolute, like, you have no clue. Like, the drama, the drama on Sunday is is crazy okay uh, it's 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 pretty insane it's it's pretty mad what sunday a lot of stuff changes in a very dramatic fashion okay yeah just just wait and see wait and see because on sunday a lot of stuff um a lot of stuff changes very very quickly indeed and now i've just got to Hang on, I've got to... Ah, I've got to repower the... Okay, now, okay, the, the, that's worn off. So I need to repower that. Okay, I actually need to wait for the... I need to wait for the... To actually the engine to charge, because I'm technically in danger. Uh, oh, okay, wait, wait. Just deoxygenate all of that. Yeah, just just get all of that out. That immediately goes out. One of you guys get ready to be here. Uh, station saved right now. Just... Okay, seriously, put out the cocking battery. That just cost me... I bet that just cost me some hull. Uh, right. Close the doors again. You two get in here. I know it's going to take cost you a little bit of health to do that, but I just want this thing fixed before we set off, please. And then we can... Actually, I don't have a med bay. Shouldn't have done that, really. Oh, wait, why is the... The oxygen's not on! The, the oxygen's... The, the oxygen's not... Can I... We should probably just go. How about we just go? We'll deal with we'll deal with the rest of it when we get we get over there at this point. And and also there's an AI. Oh, that's okay. Now the clone bay needs to be left on. Well, actually not just yet, but they've got the ions. So that's going to. This is all just marvelously good news. Right. Well, now I've only got two two power in that, and I can't I can't power the. Ah, oh, this is a fun ship. This is a very, very fun ship indeed. This is marvellous. Uh, thank you very much to Daniel Ware, who gave £25. Thank you very much indeed. And said, today is a good day. A birthday for John. And confirmation, I got into uni for me. A birthday gift on me. Currently playing Airships Conquer Science. It's a good game. And, and uh, yeah, congratulations on getting in to university, Daniel. Very, very good indeed. Okay. Turn this off for now, because they can't get through my shields for the time being. Meanwhile, this guy just comes over here. Uh, the ion's going to tear through with the Zoltan Shield pretty quickly. That gives me enough spare power to get the oxygen back on. Just to get enough oxygen into the ship. Just to, you know, kick us off for the time being. I can put two power. That's one there. The ion should probably do two damage. Oh, no, that's four. Was that a heavy ion? Two doubled up to four. Oh, uh, that's no good. Uh, right, okay. Just, just prepare to fire immediately. Okay, fire that. And there we go. That's good. Okay. Activate that. Deactivate engines. Activate beam drone. And... What? Uh-oh. Where's that missile going? If that missile hits this room, those two could just... I Well, actually, then I could just power up... Power up the clone bay just in, just in case it's going there. No, it's going for the... The, it's going for the drone room. That's the one room. It's not allowed to... Actually, I've got the capacity. I've got... No, I've got spare capacity. That doesn't stop it. Screw you. That doesn't stop it at all. Right. Uh, redirect fire. Uh, engines, please. Uh, and if the drone would like to bother targeting... Where's that going? That went for weapons room. Um, uh, just... Why is the drone targeting stupid things? Take it out. Okay, it took it out just in the nick of time. The drone is doing a bad job targeting that. Only seven scrap. That's that's very low. Right, okay. We'll just we'll just fix the yeah, we'll just quickly fix up these his systems. That'll be fine. Thank you to Andrew Hadeschnitt, who gave wow, a hundred US dollars. Thank you so so much indeed. Saying John, just a reminder, it's your birthday. <laughs> Here's some money to buy Tabby and maybe Claire something nice. Tabby definitely. Does Claire deserve it? Does she? Does she really when she's not even here? Does she deserve this? I don't know if she does. Right, the clone bay is definitely on, right? 
Uh, in which case, we're going to just quickly finish off you guys. Lovely. So we'll just get you out of the clone bay. Just quickly work on that there. <laughs> there we go. Just quickly just clone some new, some new Zoltans. It'll be fine. Actually, do they actually um, return to their... Okay, good. They do remember their stations uh, between their death and the rebirth. That's convenient. And thank you very much to Paul Wilson who gave two years to us and said, Happy birthday, John. NGB or Stealth C? Well, we've given NGB a go. Didn't go desperately well. Stealth C, we did that last time, didn't we? Stealth C is, that's um, that's uh, the, the massive one, the ridiculous mega cruiser. And we have actually done that one. So, uh, yes, that, I, I'm pretty sure we already, I'm pretty sure we did that one in a, in a previous stream quite recently. So, uh, I, I don't see, I don't think we'll necessarily get to that one again. I quite like this, this is kind of mad, but I kind of like it. Uh, right. Do I want to give myself more power immediately? Or do I want to try and, if I can, I'd like to save up for a shop. And by the way, I'd also like to, uh, power up the engines. I really should, oh, there's a store. Okay, good. There's a store. Let's let's see what's available. I doubt I'll be able to afford anything good. Okay, so, 50 for one of the NGs, not terrible. Um, defense Scrambler prevents enemy defense drones from targeting. Explosive Replicator. Oh, it's a weapon pre-igniter, which I like, but isn't as important for this ship. Beam 2. Beam 1 is okay. Beam 1 I could sell for 25. That requires 2 power. Okay, and then fires with a small beam weapon. Beam 2 repeatedly attacks with... Is that like a halberd? Anti-ship beam drone 2. Now that... That's interesting, isn't it? I mean, I'd be kind of... I'd be kind of spending all of the money. But like, I've got three capacity already. I've got the capacity. And the... Screw it! Beam, beam, beam. Beam, beam, beam. Yay, beams. Okay, so this is... How much how strong? I've never used a Beam 2 drone. Oh no, how strong it is. How strong is it? Let's find out. Uh, it says it requires three. It doesn't actually say. I mean, I'm going to guess it's firing the Halberd Beam. If so, does that mean it's got piercing? Because the only way it could be stronger than a Beam 1 is if it's firing a beam that's got like more, does more than more damage. Which would suggest it's got shield piercing. So this is, yeah. That'd be interesting. That'd be very, very interesting indeed. That'd be fascinating. <laughs> oh, this is going to be crazy. Uh, I really need more power, though. I could definitely do with a little bit more on the old power front. Can this get around? Yeah, this can get around here. We'll start there and we'll just work up from there. Thank you so much to Saku Rose, who gave us 20 US dollars. Thank you very much indeed. Said happy belated birthday and uh, thank you for all the fun times. Here's to many more. And hopefully so indeed. Nothing there, but there's another set. Ah, you always run into stores when you don't bloody need them, don't you? And thank you very much to Patrick, who gave two euros and said, Happy birthday, John. Thanks for all of the videos. You're very, very welcome indeed. Large asteroid. Explore it. Maybe accept some. Five damage. Ouch. That's... I did not... I didn't even get anything from that. Ouch. I was expecting, like, okay, I'll take, like, two damage and I'll get some minerals. Um, no. No, no, you just get screwed because screw you. Uh, okay, that 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 gamble didn't work out there. Thank you very much to uh, Daniel Fennel, who gave us five US dollars and oh. Ugh, send the away party. You find a secret Federation outpost. It appears the rebels have found it for you. Empty, faint bloodstains. And once again, I get nothing for that. Okay, a couple of badding, kind of bad luck engagements there. I'll move up to here because they're getting a bit close to me. Uh, so I just want to make sure I don't get caught out of position in Sector 1 here. And battle some time ago, scattered remains. Yeah, move in, examine the station. Okay, got myself 10. I mean, this is this has been a very quiet first sector here. It's been a very quiet first sector, which isn't what you want. You want the first sector to be as busy as possible because you need, you need like, as much scrap as you can out of Sector 1 before things start getting bad in Sector 3. Okay, ruins of recent Soviet Federation colonies. Must be a rebel ship. Yeah, we'll go looking for it. And turns out we found it. And that's got a defense drone mark one. Okay, but that's not an anti-drone drone. drone. Uh, so I think defense drones... Yeah, they can just shoot down missiles and asteroids. I'm pretty sure they can't shoot down other drones. You need an anti-drone drone for that. Hopefully. Um, 
Ah, so many hopefullys. Right, turn off the engines and get that thing operating. You get back over there while well, that thing's charging up. The battery is fully repaired. Okay, now I can get the... Well, there's no point having the engine on anymore. So we may as well have the clone bay on, just like, you know, ready. Uh, now begin firing. Yeah, begin just auto-firing. As soon as we get hit him. And that's... I think I just accidentally hit his drone. Like, that's what you can do. You can accidentally hit the enemy drone. Right, okay, now... Battery, beam, and turn on the engines, because reasons. Now, let's see how strong... Yeah, that's Halberd. That's 100% Halberd. If it would like to fire at some cocking point... Okay, that's one of its weapon systems down. That's doing... No, that's only doing one. That's doing one damage. So... And it seems to be slower. So, what's the point of it? That's fascinating. Uh, except the officer surrender. No, that's only nine scraps. Not good enough. I'm not quite sure why that's good. Because that was looking like it only did one, one per hit. Okay, this is. Why is that? Be I mean, does it have shield piercing? Even though it only was doing one. Because it was doing one damage a room, or is it? Hmm. One damage room. Because unless it's got ooh. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I am disappointed that someone in the chat saying, yeah, Vanilla Ivy saying he seems so disappointed in the beam. I am disappointed in the beam. I was expecting to see two damage. Possibly it's, um... Possibly it's so... Hmm. Is it because it's like, it only it does double damage to empty rooms? It's like a hull beam? It could be like a hull beam. Hmm. Maybe the beam's longer... And it has a longer beam. It has more beam. Ooh, more beam. I like more beam. More beam is good. Thank you to Hayden Smith who gave us... I think that's the second donation today. Thank you who gave us again another five Australian dollars that don't suppose you could request a place on the crew. Hayden, if a place becomes available, you want 100% will. And thank you to Adrian uh, Hayden, uh, Hayden Smith who... Uh, sorry, Andrew Hayden Smith who gave another five US dollars and said, I guess you probably want something for yourself too. Here's for a sweet troll or a Jaffa cake. Thank you so, so much indeed. Right, so we need everyone to return to your places, please. Thank you very much to Gringo Warfighter, who actually gave another five US dollars and said you published your first video for New Vegas Kill Everything on August 18th, 23rd. Wow, you're right. It's literally exactly five. This is actually not just like the birthday stream. This is the five year anniversary of Kill Everything as a concept being born. Which is kind of nice. I should probably turn the oxygen on, by the way. There should probably be oxygen. It's probably a good idea. So yeah, it's it's literally the fifth birthday of Kill Everything, which is, until very recently, was the most viewed video on the channel, the first part. Uh, very recently overtaken by, um, yeah, very recently overtaken by um, uh, Fallout 3 is better than you think, which is kind of cool. So that's nice, and I've probably... I'll go up here. This might slow down the pursuit. Oh, not an ion storm. Search the wreckage. Oh, I've got a person. I've got a person. I've got a human. Good, 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 good. Because someone just requested to be named. No, don't dismiss them. Don't dismiss Bruce Garrick. This is Hayden. This is Hayden now. Yay, Hayden. Right. Uh, Hayden, where do you want to work? In fact, actually, Hayden, congratulations. You are now the pilot. Uh, because I need these guys to just go and stand over here in the weapons room. Because <laughs> now I don't care if I'm in a storm. Quite frankly, actually, being in an iron storm only cost me one power. Because <laughs> I've only got two to begin with. Though, speaking of which, I should... Yeah, I, sh I should upgrade that. And it's going to take 30 again. It's going to take 60. Bloody 60 to actually make this work. That's... That's quite a lot. It's quite a bloody lot. Thank you to Mr. Ghost Ass, uh, Mr. Ghost A5, even who gave five US dollars, said, Happy birthday, have some money. And to, oh, can I squeeze this in? I can squeeze in one more. I can squeeze in one more. I really hope I could squeeze in one more. Aid the civilian ship, I'm a big damn hero. And they've got, that's a, that's a fire drone, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a flame drone. I'm not sure that even has an, uh, does that even have an effect on Zoltan? I assume it would do. I think all beams do. Uh, so yeah, now I don't need to run around. I can actually still have dodge. So yeah, only just one though, because it's not like an iron or anything. Uh, so just basically auto-fire that into their shield room. And then... Oh, you think that's what a drone looks like? This is what a drone looks like! 
Uh, whack up the evade. I'm up to 15% evade. And yeah, let's just have a look see at this. That is not a longer beam. That's not a particularly long beam at all. That's a very short beam. Right there. Look at that. That's not... I feel like I've just been ripped off here. That is not a long beam. That is not... A... Oh, oxygen. Oxygen. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay, chat. It's under control. The oxygen's on. Kind of. Uh, mostly. Uh, there we go. Okay. I mean, I'm... I'm really disappointed by the beam too. Contact the civilian ship. Ooh, nine and Pegasus. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. That's, that's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Don't worry. Chill, people. Does everyone can breathe? All right. Just, just chill out. Chill out. So I've got a defense one now, which is kind of nice. Uh, I've got, a, I've got that. Uh, so, um, yeah. We will probably turn that off at some point. This is all fine. Uh, and thank you. Did I say head vice already? I can't remember if I got myself. Sometimes I interrupt myself. Claire can tell me when I do that. Let's just let some oxygen fill up into the ship for a second. Thank you to head vase who gave five years to us. Happy blatant birthday to Jax Hill, who said, John, why am I not good enough? Jax, I promise you can have the next spot on the ship. You have my word. And to Daniel Fennell, who yelled battery at me for two US dollars. Don't worry. We figured it out. We've got it. We're under control. And to Jax Hill, since I've been replaced by Sydney, if you do get anyone else, I'd like to join your crew, please. Don't worry, Jax, you will be on the crew. That was for five US dollars. And to No Sir Bro, who gave ten dollars and said, Happy pseudo birthday. I also love the Crusader Kings 2 series. It's my favourite app, so you keep it going. Oh, it will. It'll be going for quite some time. Maybe even make another Crusader Kings 2 series after this one. Also, you might name your next crew Ha! Ha for me. Right. We've got Jax and we've got Ha coming up. No one let me forget that. It's all going to be fun. Right, have we got oxygen? Yes, we've got oxygen. And I could do with more... Screw it. Give myself a bit more power. Right. Because with that power, I can now actually have... Yeah, now I've got the ability to have everything on simultaneously. But more importantly, if I just... How much for an extra slot in the weapons room? That's only 25. If I just get 20 more... Then I could have the Pegasus missiles on, if that's what I need, and I'd have the power for it, which is not bad. So, okay, and I do have room to get to the exit. This has been a weird first sector, because there's been, there's been a relatively small number of fights, which is interesting. Anything good here? No, just a forgotten battle. That's 18, so not quite enough. It'll do. Next sector. Enjoy at Zoltan. Oh, but... Okay, think this through. I mean, Zoltan will give me blue options, which is welcome. NG would let me potentially recruit an NG. Uh, but I don't have any NG on board, so my, my blue options will be limited. NG ships tend to have some level of... Actually, NG ships have got drones. Drones and ion, which don't work. Which will tear through my Zoltan shield. And I've got a charge ion, which gives me the advantage against other Zoltans. Yeah, I'm going to say Zoltan. I'm going to say Zoltan. Between blue and me having a charge ion, it's probably the, the sensible bet, to be honest. So... I feel like we're alright. I feel like we're gonna be okay. And thank you to Kevin Infinity, who gave two US dollars and said, John, I finally beat FTL on hard. Congratulations. It's a rare thing. I've, I've only done it like a handful of times, maybe like five, ten times total I've beaten this on hard. I've played like hundreds of hours. Does this all connect together properly, by the way? I think it does. And thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you so, so much to Roman Totale who gave us 100 US dollars, said, Happy birthday, I've been watching for three years and look forward to your videos daily. Love the Crusader Kings 2 run. Thanks for finally getting around to it. I just bought a new house. What's your rate to come to America to do the interior design? Open plan bathroom optional. <laughs> I don't know, buy me a drink, you never know your luck. Um, okay, this all looks like it connects together pretty sensibly. So we'll start around here and we'll just kind of start working around and seeing what comes up. Rebel ship. Missiles and burst one over there. Nothing too dangerous and no teleporter. So, yeah, this is quite manageable here. Just need to wait for the first thing to show up. Because, yeah, actually, thanks to the charge ion, I can actually get a shot off before they can get their first shot off. And then I can get my, my actual drones out. That's a miss, unfortunately. But, like, you can get, like, two shots off at the time they get one off. So that's that down. Now battery. Now beam two. And, yeah, activate the world's most... I mean, it's slower. That's the thing. It's actually slower. I think the DPS is lower because it's firing less. It's, it's 
very weird. I'm going to just turn fire onto that. That's uh, okay. That should be guaranteed chance to hit. Now I'm just ironing. If there is a shield, I'm ironing the shield. Now just wait. Yeah, this drone appears to be slower. The beam does not seem to be longer. I'm, I'm not convinced this is a good ship. I'm not convinced at all. And, ah, darn it. They just managed to get one missile off there. But actually, no, I had one bar left of Zoltan. So we're actually okay. And, wait, where's the, what happened to the, oh, the battery. Turn everything off. Turn everything off. Reactivate that. <laughs> that was comically bad. Did you just hit that with a missile? You just hit that with a missile, didn't you? You absolute bastard. Did you, did you see that utter BS? That, that my, my base, my beam droid just basically just suicided. Just basically just kind of did a bodyguard charge. Okay, just, just keep their things down. Keep it down. Keep it down. And now they're going to get another missile in. Going to get another missile in now. What room is that? If that's going for the cocky, if that hits the beam room now, I hate you. I absolutely despise you. Bullshit. Bullshit on toast, that is. Oh, God. God, right, the one room, the one room you weren't allowed to hit. Okay, keep it going, keep it going, keep it, keep it. Stop shooting that room, you absolute... It's going to get away. He's actually going to get away. That's... I hate everything. Right, uh, concentrate fire on the cockpit to stop him getting away. There you go, that's delayed that. Do not shoot that room. I don't care if he hit the shields, quite frankly, whatever. Uh, okay, now, beam... Back on. Just shoot them. Shoot them. Shoot them with lasers. Thank you. Oh, God. Right. Everyone start just repairing things. Bloody hell. That's, that's, that's tricky. That's tricky. Uh, thank you to Andrew Haderschmidt. Andrew Hader... Oh, oh, God. Here's the, the message is, here's another $10 to buy Claire something extra since she pronounces my name right. Andrew Hadershit? Sheet? Hey, hey, just shy. Sh uh, I'm not. No, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, that's not me taking the piss. I promise. That was my actually genuinely best attempt, but it didn't. It didn't go well. Um, thank you to Wildcat78 who gave us twenty US dollars. How many people need to die, by the way? Do some of you. I think you're okay. I think you're all right. Uh, yeah. Everyone just no, no. You have a new position now. You both work in the weapons room. Thank you very, very much indeed. Thank you to Wildcat78. Who gave us uh, 20 US dollars. Thank you very much indeed. Said, I'll be turning 30 in five days. It's terrible. Don't. Just just don't. Seriously. Take my advice. You don't want to. There's there's no good. There's nothing good in it. There's, it's, it's, it's awful. Just please. Stop. Save yourself. Uh, okay. And I've now also got the power to have... Yeah, the Pegasus on if I want to. So now if I need to, I can not have the Beam 3 on. Which is which is good. So that's that's okay. This is a weird ship. And also, I kind of need to... Yeah, I really need to go over here, then back here. I need to do some repairs. Like, repairs need to be a priority. Repairs need to be a priority. Happy birthday, this is Wildcat78. Still, I'm, I'm sorry, I I interrupt myself. This this went wrong last time. Oh, this time I got six fuel. Yay, it went better this time. Wildcat78 also said, happy birthday. Hope $20 is enough for a good pint of Jaffa Cakes. Oh, more than enough. Even in the most expensive bits of London, that's absolutely flipping fine. Ah! Hello to the Creative Productions, that's Mega Raptor, who donated 25 Canadian dollars and said, Hi John, happy birthday! I'm still in Canada, have some good dollars. I hope you're doing okay without Claire. I'll watch this later. I hope you have a good birthday and I'll be home next week. Sadly. It just says, it just says I'll be home next week, full stop, sadly. It's like, I hope, I hope the kind of the message got cut off in some ways. I really hope that, like, you know, Mega Raptor, you don't feel like, oh, sadly, I'll be back home. <laughs> I did hate home so much. Hope not. I hope, I hope the message just got slightly truncated there, Mega Raptor. I hope home is a good, happy place for you. Right, well, I didn't get any spare. Will I have time? I won't. I'm just going to go here and I'm going to spend, like, I'm just going to basically do some repairs. Hopefully it's two to repair. Yeah. Just spend all the money that. That's absolutely fine. Unless, of course, I've got stuff to sell. I mean, charge ion. I mean, okay, what's the charge ion? The charge ion has a six second charge time. But it requires, it requires two energy. This requires one power and takes eight seconds. And honestly, I'm almost tempted to maybe sell the charge ion and swap it out for the ion blast. It's basically the same thing, but the power draw is lower. 
the power draws a lot lower. So that's... That's interesting. We've got... Yeah. I'd, I'd take a net loss... Actually, I physically can't afford to do it. Unless I were to sell, like, the... The Pegasus is worth 30. Pegasus is worth 30. I could actually... I could swap out the Pegasus. I could swap out the Pegasus for an Ion Blast. And then, basically, I'd just be firing, like, constant Ion. That's... Ooh. Okay. That's... Yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Okay. So, now, basically, I've got tons of Ion and the power to operate it. I'm gonna keep the Defense 1 for Emergencies. Uh, though I could sell that for 25. Uh, is it worth more to me as extra healing? Hmm. No, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Because now, basically, every six seconds, the charge ion fires. Every eight seconds, the charge, the ion blast fires. And the beam two relies on the shields being down. That's actually not a terrible combo. That is genuinely not a bad combo at all. Charge ion and ion blast together will be able to handle... Like, that'll take me up to the end of Sector 4. And Beam 2, even though I am so disappointed in you. Like, I'm not angry. I'm disappointed, Beam 2. I just don't understand why you're good. I feel like it's a mistake, quite frankly. I mean, it looks like a Halberd Beam. The asset is the same as a Halberd Beam, but it does less damage. Just, I, I don't understand. Oh, dear. And thank you to Madison Perez, who gave us 10 years on set. I got paid today. Have some birthday money. Thank you very much indeed, Madison. And to Assassin Looper 7, who gave us 5 US dollars. Said, happy birthday, John. Sorry, I can't give... Seriously, never apologize for not giving enough. Seriously, never. Never do that. It's, oh, dear, asteroids. It's absolutely fine. I almost feel like I want to stay out of this. Interfere and help the Zoltan ship. Interfere and save the Mantis ship. I'm going to help the the Zoltans. Yeah. Okay. So, and now I'm going to take care of them. They're not going to appreciate this. They're not... Oh, they've got a, they've got an Ion Stunner. Okay. Basically, this... No, this, this works. This works. Because I can just basically take their shields down. And once the shields are down, the, the, um, the asteroids will tear them apart. And I can just fire... I can, should be able to fire way faster than them. So shield's down, that's down, that's down, one weapon down, that's going to miss. And now, I'm not sure I even actually bother. Yeah, you know, I can just focus all, focus all firepower on just keeping their weapons down. They, for the time being at least, if I just basically fire, if I just put enough concentrated fire on them. Okay, just for safety, I'm just going to deploy the, no, I need to activate the battery. I'm going to deploy this anyway, just for safety. And go, and oh, they've teleported someone on board the ship. Uh, okay, that's a bit ballsy of you. Uh, that's fine. I've got the clone. Uh, don't forget to power up the clone bay if need be. This should be fine. Oh, the second half of the message from Assassin Looper 7, however, was go buy yourself something Claire wouldn't approve of. Oh, ah, I can think of so many things. Absolutely marvellous. Thank you very much to Venus Victrix, who gave £5.32. pence. said, I've had so much fun doing fan art for this. I know Thomas sent it to me. I will share it. I will share it later. Do I actually even want to bother saving this guy? I could just keep this on, be fine. Uh, right, keep that down, and another attack there. Weapons, yeah, their weapons are down. One guy is dead, but he's being respawned right now. My shield's up. Now, the Zoltan aren't going to be thrilled. That just gets me two and two. But yeah, the Zoltan, the Zoltan don't give you anything, because they did tell you to stay out of it. So I didn't really... I was kind of hoping there might be a blue thing, because I'm a Zoltan ship. So maybe they kind of take a bit of a, a kind of a better view of it. But they decided against it. Uh, and yes, indeed. Sorry, I, I got distracted then again. I, I interrupt myself a like this. Is this how annoyed Claire gets with me? How annoyed I'm getting with myself right now? <laughs> Venus has also said, thank you. I'd have gone quite mad over the holiday if I'd had nothing to do. And thank you very, very much to, uh, oh, it's Yusir Afzal again, who gave a ridiculously big donation earlier saying, I lost my bet you made it past Sector 1. Zoltan sees fiddly, I'll give it that, but it, it's not a bad ship. It's not like the Vortex, which is fundamentally, actually a genuinely bad ship. And to Vinyl Scratch, who just gave 10 US dollars and said, You the best. Oh, thank you very much indeed. I'm glad that this, by the way, hasn't actually taken over the... I was worried that by coming down here, I thought the moment it did, is this going to be out of range? But luckily, it's just beyond the Rebel Reach, so... We're all right for the time being. Ooh. 
a shield overcharger. That basically creates Zoltan shields. That's of interest. But that is, it's very... Yeah, it's... It's expensive with three power. But then I haven't actually used the... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to actually have that on. I'm not sure if you're allowed to use that to top up Zoltan Shields if you have that on a Zoltan ship. I would guess it, it does work that way. So that's... That's interesting. Yeah, you know what? As I can power it anyway, I'm going to do that. That might be on occasion useful. That could on occasion be very, very useful indeed. And I got nine scrap out of it too, which is not the worst thing in the world. Probably best I just try and run as far and fast as I can for the time being. This is all, yeah, this all fits together nicely. And thank you to Riffler Underhill. Magnificent name, if that's your real name. That's great. Canadian dollars times two. Saying, just saying hi. Pleasure to catch your stream. And we've got a Zoltan Science ship. Okay. I'm going to dot with them. Right. Okay. I thought we were going to be cool Zoltans. Because, like, we are Zoltan friends and all whatever. But, okay, screw you. In which case, I will just basically start firing on your systems as soon as you flipping light. You brought this on yourselves. My ion should tear through their shields long before they tear through mine. So, if that happens, assuming we don't miss... There, look at that. that that's two damage ago. They haven't even fired yet. Though, if I could, like, you know, not miss, that'd be great. Okay, stop missing. Seriously, stop it. Uh, right, okay. We're in good shape right now. Continue firing and we're probably ready to... Guys! Guys, seriously? What are you doing right now? Okay, just... just. Oh, bloody hell. It's fine. Everything's under control. Everything's fine. Just take out the cocking shield. That's right. Uh, now, activate batteries and activate beam 2. Uh, now, just basically start zapping them. And if we can, take out their weapon systems. Quite frankly, if someone dies at this point, it's it's not a problem. The clone bay can be powered. Just maybe just power it up now because I'll forget. Uh, that thing's turned off. That works quite nicely. Uh, clone bay is oh, clone bay is uh, a little bit on the dead side. Right, go and repair the clone bay just for safety. And oh, okay. I this is odd. I don't have the option to kill them. That's... I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. They've, they've basically surrendered. But they lit, there's literally no option to continue firing. They're claiming it's a diverse crew because we've got one human on board. To be honest, Hayden, he, he's here as part of a, 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 an initiative. It's, it's, it's kind of tokenism. Um, but okay... And to celebrate my not multicultural crew, you're going to make it less multicultural. Um, okay, I, I guess. Are you good at, no, you're not even good at anything. Great, thanks. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, the Zoltan, apparently like, they attacked us to test whether my multicultural crew was effective, even though it's not that multicultural. And when they discovered it was, they decided to make it less multicultural because this is all very peculiar right I, I think we need to kill a couple of people as well right sydney john uh report for uh execution please uh so there we go we'll just finish off you two and that will all be absolutely fine there we go a couple of people queued up right just need to get them back up to full strength everything will be fine oh hello tree shaker tucker thank you very much indeed for your two pounds and saying hey everyone and sir roderick quincy von thunderbottom the magnificent high king of australia i tried to recreate um claire's cadence there i hope you appreciated that uh I love saying that out loud so much. Happy birthday, John, with five Australian dollars. Remember, growing old is inevitable. Growing up is optional. Fine words of wisdom from the High King of Australia there. And Dark Oak, who just gave us two pounds. Thank you very much indeed. Saying happy belated birthday, Faith. Well, thank you very much, Faith. Or you're just trying to tell me to have faith in my belated birthday. Or possibly that means your actual name is Faith. I'm going to assume the latter. Now, what's the most logical place for you? Probably... Over here in the sensor room. Because if you've just got a, a, just a spare person, stick them in sensors. Though actually, the real most logical place for you is actually just to have yet another person. <laughs> just have three people just in the weapons room all together. Because that is technically a way of guaranteeing that yeah, the, the shields become ion proofed. Um, and the, the weapons are fully powered without any power being put into them. It's probably for the best to be honest. Uh, hang on, before I jump. 
What's the state of the ship right now? I could do with... Do I want more evade? I mean, evade is cheap. No, what I should probably do is just... I should save up for one more power bar. Then I'm actually out of the 30s. So that's really prohibitive. Because you need to spend like 90 power just to get out of that really early weak system problem. So that is... Uh, that's fine. I mean... And I see people are also saying drone and engines are options. I, I agree, actually. Engine is engine's probably a good idea because I do always... I'm always going to need one power in the engine. And, like, you know, that just means the I can never have the engines turned off entirely. Uh, well, unless the system gets broken. Uh, but that's probably not a bad idea because then at least TAC can actually get good at working in the engine room. So that's probably not a bad idea. Um, the other option is... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take one point of evade. I normally don't do evade, and I, I underestimate it. And 25% evasion, which we're up to now, is not so bad. Now I've got someone in the engine room. Engine's on three. It's not so bad. Especially as once I turn this off, I can have the ion blast on as well. That's all right. That's starting to get somewhere. That's that. That's okay. That's 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 reasonable right there. Thank you very much to Benjamin Rich, who donated to your and said, Double swear stream! Double swear stream! I'm sure we don't need to do that much swearing. This one's, this one's going pretty smoothly, all things considered. So let's just quickly get a little bit of concentrated fire over on those systems. Uh, this should be not a big deal. Unless, like, accuracy is appalling, we should be able to, especially with that miss there. That's nice. Uh, so we should be in good shape. Uh, activate the battery and activate. How are we doing on drone parts? Drone parts are at 10 right now. So we're okay, and at this point, actually, we've hit the, um, with the cockpit being hit, we should have a guaranteed hit with all my ions, so that should slow them down quite a lot at this point. Uh, one missile's gonna come in, does two damage, but honestly, it's not so bad. 14 scrap, fine. Hull at 50%. Bit of a concern. This can go down here to down here. I think we're safe to go down here for the time being. We should be okay. Thank you very much to per 50 who donated five Canadian dollars, pretty damn good dollars, and said, well, I'll be damned. I have no idea we had the same birthday. Well, apparently we do. So, Zoltan security checkpoint set up at a perimeter around a beacon. Okay, submit to crew profiling to identify fugitives of the Empire. I'm going to say submit to the... Oh, dear. Who exactly is... No, 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 no. Five charges of utter villainy. Who is it? I don't know who it is. I'm not giving them up. We're fighting. And there's also... Oh, dear. There's also Super Shield Bypass Unit. Borders are on board. That's quite a lot of borders. Okay. Um, 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 okay. Somebody get down to the... Um, get down over here as quick as you like. Okay. Ah, oh, darn it. Two of them have got away immediately. Oh. Well, this is going to be fascinating. Okay, I need to keep this on under all circumstances. They've got... Cock. They've got... They've managed to disable some of my... Oh. Okay, this is of interest. Um. Okay, wait. What? Okay, just, just put that over there. Ion Blast. Okay, I've only got one power in weapons right now. But that's enough to... Yeah, that's going to be enough to just keep firing for the time being. That keeps me firing. I just need to take out these four stupid extra crew members. You guys head over. Where are you even going? Where are you going? Are you going to my weapons room right now? Okay, everyone into the weapons room. You get around over here and, and join in around over here. Then I'll just basically, I'll deoxygenate this area. Um, yeah, just lock, lock them in the cockpit. That's fine. Uh, and then hopefully, come on, come on, deoxygenate, deoxygenate, deoxygenate before they take out the cockpit. Come on. Yes, okay, just the next time there. Uh, okay, that's going to screw them over. These guys are going to be taken out. Um, shields are not currently active, but the Zoltan shield's covering us for the minute. This guy needs to stay in the door room. These guys are going to... Yeah, these guys are trying to escape, but they can't. And now you can't basically... You can't get anywhere. So now we can just take out this system. Ion Blast is just going to keep firing and is taking down the Zoltan shield. That's pretty effective, all things considered. Battery has not been damaged. This works for me. Uh, right, you guys are, for the time being, okay. In fact, you know what, guys, just get in there and finish them off. Close all doors. Finish, finish, finish. Dead, dead, dead. Okay, everyone return to your positions, please. Everyone back to your positions. I want to say back to your positions. How did so many of you just die? Some of you just died. That's fascinating. Right, you, get back over to the shield, please. Uh, turn that off. 
I need you back in the shield room to reactivate. Come on, 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 come on. Ah, darn it. Just at the wrong moment. Uh, okay. But the, the clone, the clone lab is still on. We're nearly through the shielding. Once we're through the... How did you... I guess they got a bomb on it. Uh, okay. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. I don't have my charge iron right now, but that requires two powers. There's nothing I can do. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And there we go. Right. And shields up. Okay. Shields up. Dodge at 10%. You get back over here. Fix the engine and get working on that. We do have... I don't need you in there right now. You get over here and fix the, the drones. Um, in fact, yeah, you also help out fixing up the drones. Because until that's working, I can't get the bin drone out regardless. You need to... Why were you not auto-firing? You were set to auto-fire. What? Why is that? Oh, God. Um... I know the battery's there, but the battery doesn't do me any good for the time being. What good does the battery do me? Uh, okay. We're, we're through the Zoltan Shield. Okay. We're, we're through the Zoltan Shield. Boom. That's the doors. Okay. Now... There we go. Beam beam 2 is, is up and running. Uh, in comes an attack on the battery. Oh, no. The battery. The battery is... The battery just got taken out, but apparently we're okay to just keep firing regardless. Okay. Fire. Yeah, just keep going, keep going. Um, the the chain's down, so we're actually we're okay. This is this is this can be stabilized for the time being. You two get over here, get the doors fixed, and then there we go. And oh dear, no, no, wait, hang on, you both need to be in there to power this. Okay, no, no, yes. Okay, sorry, my mistake. Um, get another hit in. There we go. That's a good hit right there, and that's off. And this should hopefully kill him. This should kill him. And why did you not... Did you just do one damage? One cocking damage? And now you didn't do any damage at all. Another person just died. We got a clone base, so it's fine. Right, you get down over here and help out with the, the beam room. Oh, cocking hell. Where did you... I think they just, they just got a, what, a bomb in on that or something. Um, oh, they just keep... They just keep bombing this room. It's fine. Everything's under control. Everyone repair this room. No matter how many times you get bombed, just keep fixing it. Keep fixing it. Yay! Okay, just, just do anything. Hit any room. You're the worst team member. Beam 2 is the worst team member. The doors aren't working. Fix the cocky doors. Fix the doors. Fix them. Just go, 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 go. Oh, okay, we're fine. Everything's under control. This is this is not a problem. This is no, that's a problem. The fire spread. It's nearly out. It's nearly out. Oh, oxygen. We should probably go and sort out the oxygen. Right, you guys go and fix the oxygen. You guys fix that. The, this fire just goes out now. There we go. Everything is under control. Everything is under control. Thank you very much to Beware Venge. Just gave us two US dollars and said, Best Jaffa Cake brand of flavour. Oh, just the basic orange by McVitie's. Like, the reason I think some people are disappointed is because they're like, they're, they're getting the, the cheap knockoff ones. You don't want the knockoff ones. What you want is you want the basic McVitie's ones. Like, don't be fooled by knockoff supermarket brands. It's the McVitie's ones you want. And by the way, I'm just going to kill these crew members. Oh, that was, that was lovely. Great be kind of synchronized. Poof. Lovely. Uh, and thank you very, very much to Mark Walsh, who gave us five Australian dollars and did not leave a message. But if, if you have a message, like, tell Thomas and he'll tell me. <laughs> Thomas has a direct line to me. It'll all be fine. Um, and thank you very much to Nixir97, uh, who gave five euros and said, happy birthday, first donation. Well, thank you very much for your first donation. Uh, yeah, thank you very, very much indeed. And uh, you guys get out of there because right now there's literally no room to spawn. So maybe, like, you know, just, just get back to your existing position. That'll be absolutely fine. And I think people also write, Tack! Tack, 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 Who I believe next up was Jax. And then Ania was next up. So Jax was next on the list. So there we are. You see, I'm doing an alright job keeping up with this. We don't need a Claire. Thank you to Jonathan Cameron, who donated 10 do yeah, 10 US dollars and said, Happy birthday, John. I want to thank you for great content and streams. You've helped me get through my first in Seattle. Oh, lovely, lovely. Sit, lovely city. If you're ever feeling stressed in Seattle, go to the aquarium and, like, find the sea otters. Because they, they float around holding hands while asleep on their backs, floating on the water. And it's the cutest thing. And it chills me out immensely. Also, do they still have that octopus? 
in the Seattle Aquarium. The one who's got the tank where there's the pipe between it and like the octopus like squeezing through the really small pipe and it's a glass pipe so you can literally see like what a squeezed bunched up octopus looks like because that's really cool. That was always a really cool tank. I hope that's still there. I mean it might not be the same octopus. I know octopuses don't actually live that long. It might be a different octopus but I hope there's still an octopus in that tank. Absolutely. Also, my landlord told me no for an open plan bathroom. Well, that's just blatantly unfair. You should sue. Right. Let's see what we got going on next here. What do we have? So, Zoltan Space. An ancient Zoltan wise man who has managed to harness the power of a spatial rift, but seems to have been driven completely mad by the power. Choose your doom, he demands. Okay. So, basically, who am I fighting? So, rock men are going to have missiles. Um, and slugs are going to... Well, slugs can have a bit of anything. Uh, and mantises. Actually, slugs often have things like mind control. Mantis is going to be boarding. Except they can't board with the super shield up. So I'm going to go for mantis. And, ooh, a mantis bomber. And that's actually... It's going to take them 10 million years to get through that. I mean, that that's going to struggle to penetrate. Uh, so actually, I think we're in good shape. Just focus all firepower on weapons, because they can't teleport over to me if they don't have the bypass, unless it's part of an event at the beginning of the fight. So if I can just basically get their weapons down, they basically have no way of teleporting over to me. So this actually works surprisingly well. So, uh, yeah, congrats. Why are my shields off? My shield should be on. Ah, probably because no one's standing in the right cocking room. Jax, by the way, you should be over there. Yeah, I should probably actually get everyone back in the right place. And that was the wrong... Okay, why are you not firing now? Oh, because you left that room. Well, that this is all fine. There you go. Right, so weapons are now critically damaged. And we've got huge amounts of... Oh, yeah. This'll do. This'll do. Good luck, guys. Good flipping luck. Ah... It's quite relaxing. Quite relaxing to see. I wouldn't mind uh, upgrading my sensors just so I can see what's going on on the enemy ships. I do like watching enemy ships being torn apart by... Why did that just happen? Oh, we ran out of... We ran out of... Okay, just... This is, this is fine. Everything is absolutely fine. Everything is absolutely fine. Just turn off the power to the oxygen. Okay, that's good. Only nine? Ooh, but... The Zoltan Wise Man. Nice. Actually sends me 22 scraps. That's worked out very well for me. Uh, right. Now remember to turn the oxygen on. Which is the thing I just did. Need to find a shop. Pretty damn urgently in fact. Thank you very much to Tim Horton who gave us 5 US dollars and said. Hi John. Thanks for the great content you do. I've been watching since before your Kill Everything runs. You're my number one entertainer. Oh, that's... Okay, that's even earlier. That means you are, the, you are like part of like, you know, the first few hundred subscribers. Uh, never mind like, you know, thousands. That means you're up to... Uh, in the first few hundreds. Okay. There we go. Okay, okay. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. Is there a shop? There is no shop. I can probably get here. Yeah, that's fine. I can I can get around here. But is there something on the ship I can invest in? Like, I could go for a tiny bit more dodge. No, I'm, I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to take the sensors. I, I like having sensor two. I like having sensor two. Sensor two is, is nice. So I've got sensor two, which is welcome. Uh, so that is good. So there we are. That's now updated down there. Jump on. I kind of need to save up for a shop. Because I need, like, you know, to heal. Like, as an urgent priority. You don't have a... You don't have a shield. That's interesting. Uh, okay. Well, if you don't have a shield, then uh, focus all firepower on their weapon systems. And get the beam drone out, I guess. The ridiculous... Why are you so bad? Why? Okay, let's see if it hits an empty room. Let's just verify this. If it hits an empty room now... No, the empty rooms do one as well. It does the exact same damage as a basic beam drone. It just... It moves slower. And also, why is this thing so bad? Okay, well, that, that one was nice and easy. That was nice and easy. 13 scrap and nothing else good. I've got to go for the exit. I've just got to run for the exit at this point. This is all absolutely fine. Uh, arrived at the long range thing, but sometimes there's something else. Ooh. Okay. Well known slave trader. Looks like they've got a mini beam and some form of like hull smasher. I can't see anything else because there's only two weapons. Attack slave of scum. Yeah, attack slave of scum because sometimes they'll surrender and offer you a slave for free. 
that's honestly not that bad, really. I'm pretty happy to just basically uh, uh, target some firepower on the weapon systems. Take out the weapons. We're slowly on, yeah, because we're still in sector two. It's only one shield blob. So if we can just basically hit that, we can just activate that. That was a miss, but that's a hit. Uh, activate beam two. And now, yeah, if we're lucky, just hope we basically, that is some damage to the cockpit. If we're very lucky, we'll hit the weapons room. That's one weapon down. We're down to, I kind of need, yeah, just, I need you to hit the, yeah, just keep hitting the weapons room. In all fairness, if they've got nothing but the mini beam, they can't touch me. Uh, and they're going to struggle to get anything else up. But the problem with beam drones is they make stupid decisions about where to target. Like, it hasn't gone for the um, the weapons room once. And that's blatantly where it should go. Uh, okay, now I need to come up with some power from somewhere. Right, t turn everything off. Turn, turn the auction off again. Just turn the auction off. It's fine. And yeah, they're offering me Maloney. Okay. That's acceptable. Um, generally, when I fight slavers, I will spare them in return for a crew member. Uh, and a, a rock guy's pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't mind him being in... Actually, I'm going to keep him indoors. Just so I've got someone in the bottom of the ship. And having auto-upgraded doors at no cost is not bad at all. Now, 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 now. I need to remember who the other person was who was next on the list. Someone was next on the list who was next on the list. It was something like a nah, but I can't remember the spelling. I'm gonna try and find, I'm gonna try and find the spelling. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna search for it instead. Uh, that's here, here, and a nah, 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 nah. It was, Okay, I know where the message was, roughly. Uh, so just take me back to Paradise City with a HA! That was it, it was HA! H double A R. I found it, it's fine. Right, that's fine. That's a good name for a rock person. I think that's an excellent name for a rock person. So he is no longer Johnny Malone. Good name itself though. He is HA! HA the rock man, the mighty, mighty rock man. Everything is good. Ah! Ah, thank you to David Wellman, who gave us $6.38, who actually gave us a bit of an update on the state of the currency market. I have turned the auction back on. Everything is fine. GBP is down a bit. Uh, Dow Jones up a bit. I have to file a police report now. Happy to, uh, happy to make a point. Say happy birthday. You're a good egg, John. Excellent. Thank you for the update on the currency market. And to Evil John Clone 666 who uh, did indeed give us five years ago and said, Happy birthday, John. May the corpses of the enemy rain scrap upon you like the rains of Africa. Well, that's that's pretty much what I'm after, yes. Ah, Zoltan controlled. I'll take a Zoltan again. Uh, I'll avoid a Nebula. I don't want a Nebula. I'll take Zoltan controlled over that. Oh, I didn't actually run into any blue things last time, but live in hope. Live in hope that, yeah, my double ion tactic might actually work together with the beam drone. What I would love to do, what I'd love to work towards is a second beam drone. So rather than double pipe beam, we could just have double beam drone. Like, if I could get double beam drone, I'd be pretty happy with that. Uh, so that's that's what I'm keeping an eye on. That's what I want. I want double beam drone. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see if that's... And thank you to Jax Hill, who gave two years and said, John, I believe TAC needs a new name. Don't worry, Jax. I remembered. We're on top of it. And to Ryan the Rabid Rancorous Rambling Regent, who gave us five years long, said, Happy birthday, John. Hope it's great. Side note, I giggle like a kid every time you say cockpit. It's a good name. It's a good word in general. Uh, right, okay. How, is this a troll a section? Not really so much. Right, let's just get out of this area as quickly as possible. Do we have a fight here? No, nothing much. Fuel is good. Drone parts are under control. Store! Store, 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 store. I'd like to have more money. What I'm going to do is I'm planning to go boom, 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 and then loop back to the store that way. Oh, that's a bad idea. Um, oh. oh, I think I've just made a series of errors. I think that I think that might have just that might have been a mistake. Okay, just focus all firepower on shields. Let's see how we do against a double shield thing. Okay, fire, fire ion. There's one. Okay, um, continue firing ions quickly. There we go. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. We're good. Sensors deactivated. Activate beam two. Now, this might cause a bit of trouble. And, okay, go. Right, now uh, turn target onto weaponry. There we go. Shields have been damaged. I need you to target the weapon room. 
And there's a bit of damage to the weapon room. There we go. That's nice. Uh, but now it's going to take a little bit of concentrated fire to get the shields down again. So uh, we've actually we've hit the cockpit, so it shouldn't be too difficult to do. That was a resist, but it still does the damage. Their main things are still damaged. That's more damage to the weapons room. The battery's almost out of life, uh, but that's absolutely fine. I actually could have got the, the evade up a little bit in that part of the world. And, okay, now I need to have auction off. I need, to, I need to take an extra bar of power. Ah, darn it, we just missed that. Uh, we've still got the power for this. Right, now we just fire on it. Okay, so we can just get two blobs of shield down, but it's it's very tight. It's very, very tight. Uh, you know what would be nice? If drones, like, if you had a room targeted, they prioritised targeting that room. Uh, no, we don't accept surrender. And if you'd like to just finish them off quickly. There we go, lovely. Okay, we can just, just manage that. There's 17 scrap. Okay. This is dangerous. This is really dangerous. Like, if I can get past whatever's here... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... I've made a mistake! Ion and double missile. Oh, no. Oh, that's... That's no good. That's not good. That's... It's been a good run. It's been a good ship. The altogether has been a great ship. A great ship that's about to die. That ship's going to kick our ass. That is going to kick our ass. And I'm also going to turn the oxygen back on. Don't worry, chat. It's okay. It's okay. We're good. Uh, okay. The other option is to charge the ion. For the moment, I'm better off just firing one-off blobs. Because firing one-off blobs gets the Zoltan shield down faster, I believe. Um... It's a lot of firepower. Yeah, everyone prepare your Fs. If I can win this, though, if I can win this, then I can get to... Okay, power-up engines. That evade might be crucial. This evade might be seriously crucial. Right, charge it up. Fire everything at weapon systems. And just... Okay, it's going to it's gonna depend on misses. Okay, that's a good hit. That's a good hit. In comes missile number one. How much does a missile do? Is that one or two? That's only one. That was a two. Uh, was that the ion, though? Right, okay. We are now... We are through the Zoltan Shield. Their Zoltan Shield has collapsed before ours. In comes... That will finish off our... That was a miss! That was a miss... Okay, that was a miss from both sides. Okay, we're good. No, we're fine. Their ion missed. Their ion missed. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Activate battery. Activate beam three. Now it's just a question of what the beam decides it wants to target. If the beam... Okay, you know, like, med bay. Med bay is an example of things we do not need to target. Okay, I need you to hit the weapon room. Go. Okay, just hit the weapon room. Okay, one one missile down. One missile down. But missiles incoming at some point or other. That is... Second missile down. Second missile down. Second missile down. Okay. We're, we're not doing so bad. We're not... One missile back up. They've got one missile up. Okay, that's... that. Stop focusing on the doors. Okay. Everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine, it's fine. We're... Oh, no, 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 okay. Pa depower, depower, repower, repower, fire, fire. Stop targeting the med bay! It's the one thing to not target. Okay, this is all right. Just target something sensible. Shields down. Focus. No. <sighs> Timings are awful. It's just kind of, it's bad luck. And go. Oh. Ha. Oh. Oh. Ha. Oh. <laughs> okay. Everything is good. Lovely. Thank you very much to Dr. Wasp who gave us five US dollars and said happy birthday. And can I be on the crew? A doctor is never a bad idea. Next crew member, Dr. Wasp. Also, don't forget to turn the auction on. Everything's under control. Everything's under control. Everything's good. Okay, so, to the store. Thank you to Ella Guy Vogel who gave us five pounds and said, Hi John, happy birthday, just got home from work, can I please have a crew member? Right, so Dr. Wasp, then Ella, uh, is what we've got here. Now we've got, what else have we got? You do have a fire beam. 
So I could responsibly heal up the ship. Or... Or I could try and set everything on fire. Battery charger. Lock time is halved. Nah, I can do without that. Shield charge boost I can do without that. None of that's that tempting, to be honest. I don't look at any of that and think, yeah, that that's what I need. I think what I'm going to do instead is full heal. Back up to full health. Still have 45 scrap remaining, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, do I want to sell the shield? I haven't used the shield once. I'm going to move that to here. That gets me up to 75, which is pretty decent. That's... That's pretty... I, I love how the chat, by the way, I'm just, I'm just watching the chat right now. And there's literally a combination of people yelling. It's, it's kind of about 50-50. People are like, fire, fire, fire. And people are like, no, John, no. John, stop it now. <laughs> In all fairness, I don't, I don't have the weapon capacity for it anyway. I need, until I've got like a more sensible weapon, I need both of these ions to be firing. So I'd need to spend like another 85 on weapon upgrades before I could even actually have the fire beam on. So, it, it's, it doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. Uh, hull laser one, and that requires two power. Flank gun one's not awful, but 65 is expensive. And again, two power. The power draw on these weapons is just too high. I should save up. I should save up and do the responsible thing. Set it aside. This is all going to be a deposit on a nice ship. Everything's fine. It's going to be beautiful. Thank you very much to Jonathan Green. I'm mispronouncing your name. Sorry, there's an acute accent on the, the first E, but I'm not sure. Like, Grien? Gren? Gren? I don't know. Uh, if Claire were here, she'd be able to figure this out. Who gave us 50 Swedish kroner. Thank you very much indeed. And said, congratulations. FTL is an amazing game. And she's going to install it again right now. Honestly, like, it's one of the first games I installed on a new computer. Like, all my laptops have it too. <laughs> it's one of those games that is always installed. And Venus Victrix, hello Venus, gave us two pounds that I nominate Quincy as crew, his turn to die. It's a bit harsh. And there's, ooh. Ah, I know there's a store down there. Okay, I discovered that store down there. You know what? This is good. Save up the money, go to the second store. There might be something that's more sensible in the second store. Nothing, no way of minding that. Go down over, let's take a bit of a, yeah. Let's take a bit of a three-step jump down to the store. Um, because hopefully I can have over a hundred by the time I get there. Ouch! Oh dear! Oh! Ow! Ow! Okay, not so heavily armed, but double shield blob and Zoltan. That is no fun. Okay, we just have to get past this. Uh, defense two would be garbage, wouldn't do anything. Right, basically just start firing. We can cut through the Zoltan shield in no time at all, which is why I came this way. That was a miss! Oh! Just going to skip forward a little bit. Uh, there was actually an extra donation from uh, Sir Roderick Quincy Mohan on the bottom of the Magnificent Huggy of Australia, who donated two Australian dollars and said, uh, thankful you upgraded those engines now. Yeah, I never do. It's, it's probably my biggest mistake in FTL. I never get to the engines fast enough. I, I always, like, um, I always kind of leave them. Oh, that was Zoltan just taken down. Halbert does an excellent job there. Right, okay. Activate, activate. Beam 2, don't let me down. Seriously. Just target something. Okay, wep uh, engines isn't terrible. At least that means we'll be hitting. That shield, that's not bad. Okay, so down to one shield blob. So just take that out now. That's being ioned. Just hit the hit the weapon room. Okay, that's a fire. Fire's not the worst thing in the room, but it is in literally an empty room. There you go. You've hit the weapons, and now we're good. Now we're alright. They've managed to actually heal that up. But now their weapons room is on fire, which gives me plenty of time. Uh, and actually, they might die from the... Oh, that's worn off. Um, Power down that. Power up this. There we go. Done. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat right there. 17 scrap is not bad. Jump straight on. And yeah, once again, we're just heading slowly towards the store. I'd like... In perfect world, I'd like to hit 120 before we hit the store. So, okay. Don't get involved. The attacker is already on you. Right, so we've got ourselves... Interestingly, that's a Mantis. Well, it's a Mantis. It's a pirate ship, but it kind of looks a bit like the Mantis style. That's going to be able to cut through my shields pretty quickly, but we should still be able to handle it for the most part. If I just basically take... No Actually, it's only one blob of shield. For, for this sector, one blob of shield's pretty good. That's actually pretty decent. 
Thank you very much to Justin White, who donated two US dollars and said, Happy birthday, John. Hope it's a great one. And to Urban Cohort, who showed up again and said, Urban Cohort, I figure it's appropriate to mention I spent much of your birthday stamping out Sicilian rebels in Rome Total War. No better way to celebrate them. No, be eh, no better way to celebrate them by exterminating tens of thousands of your own citizens. Aw. I know, I, I, I'm, I'm sure that's not the case. Right, okay. Uh, activate the beam. Now we should be able to tank all of this. Yeah, we're alright for the time being. And, oh, that's good. That's right. Target those weapon systems. Focus on weapons right now. And there's a fire. Good. This is all working very, very nicely indeed. Okay, this ship's a little unconventional, but it's doing the job. The problem is, when we hit sector 5... It's going to fall apart because I'm not going to be able to penetrate shields anymore. Before we hit Sector 5... No, no surrender. Before we hit Sector 5, we desperately, desperately need oxygen. That too. Uh, before we hit Sector 5, we absolutely desperately need, like, just a conventional weapon that can cut through shields. Because right now, my ability to penetrate shields is extremely questionable. On a f Ooh, flak gun! Which happens to be literally a perfect weapon for cutting through shields. That's kind of its job. It's... Well, that's good. Good at taking down shields. <laughs> Thank you. All right. That's, that's good. That's good right there. Do I have time for one more? Do I have time for one more over here and then back? Yeah, I probably do. I've probably got time to nip here and then go back to the store and then go the southern route. We're all right. We're okay. Intruders on board irritatingly, uh, but that's fine. We can kind of, we can oxygenate those guys. Uh, in fact, we can oxygenate all of these guys. Um, yeah, we can deoxygenate all of this, in fact. Right, deoxygenate all of them. Uh, begin operation. They've got a pike beam. That's going to do quite a lot of damage to my Zoltan. And oxygen. I always forget the oxygen. It's fine. You know what? No. I'm going to pretend that was part of a cunning plan. Because the oxygen being so low means these rooms deoxygenated faster. Aha, you see. You see, it was all part of a cunning plan. Cunning, cunning plan. Uh, right. Meanwhile, the, I will deploy the rock over here. As soon as he, as soon as actually, like, we're done with the doors. For the moment, I need him to, okay. Now I need you to basically retreat over here. Okay, that's all absolutely fine. And then through here. Now they're all going to die. And uh, meanwhile, this is all going down pretty nicely. Yeah, they're going to die very quickly. Right, now the rock can just basically come through into here. And he can just basically... The rock is now... Oh, what's this? Oh, boom. 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 Oh, three hits, three kills. The rock, you big damn hero. Uh, okay. The intruders have been taken care of, right? Close all doors. Right now, Evaders at zero, which is a concern. We've managed to successfully penetrate their Zoltan. Uh, we're almost ready. Almost ready. And as soon as this area re ready, go. Everyone back to positions, please. Right, we can get someone back in the cockpit. That means Evade goes up, which means we've got a chance of dodging that. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. Everything's under control. Um... Could have actually tested the flak out that time, but honestly, I prefer. I think it's safer to go for go for ion. Right, they're down. Activate the beam. Uh, so just basically, okay. At this point, actually, uh, change target onto weapons. I'd like to get some of their weapon systems down, please. And that is that was a bit of damage to the weapons right there. So right now they've got nothing but pipe beam. Pipe beam physically can't penetrate a single blob of shielding. So as long as that stays up, they can't do a thing. Uh, so, that should be, this should be a now pretty safe victory. This, yeah, this ship always feels like it's, like, on the verge of about to fall over. But then, when it gets rocking, it actually does a good job. But that is, that is, I, I just, the, the rock was spectacular there. That was really beautiful rocking. Which I'm going to celebrate by, um, killing him immediately. Um, so, there we are. Ha, the rock Johnson has, has just done marvellous work. Uh, you two are both going to be... Power the clone bay! It's okay. Just... I remembered to power the clone bay before I killed them. It's beautiful. Uh, so down they both go. And then we'll just... We'll just clone new ones. That's... That's how friends work. If your friends die, just make new ones uh, with a clone bay. Everything's under control. Uh, okay. 
very good shape here. This is this is good. This is all very, very good indeed. Thank you to Nathaniel Wilson, who gave us 30 US dollars. Thank you very much indeed. And said, happy belated birthday, you magnificent bastard. I have a construction pun for you, but I'm still working on it. It's quite good. Proved 10 METM points for you for that pun. And to Jax Hill, who donated uh, five US dollars. Said, power just went out for a second. It's a stormy day here in Kentucky. Also, John, your stream got me to buy House Flipper. I do not regret the purchase. Seriously, House Flipper is going to end up in my top five of the year. I don't even know how, but it just is. It just flipping is. And to Grey Morality, who donated 10 US dollars and deserves an extra Grey Morality song because I accidentally missed at least one message of his last week Grey Morality song. Um, and also said, happy birthday. Can you maybe add me as an engineer or pilot? Oh, Flip, I've forgotten who was further up the list. Thomas, tell me, tell me what the list is. And put Grey Morality at the end. And to Evil John Clone 666, who just donated two US dollars. And uh, did, oh, I could go here. And did indeed say, bring on the Evil John. <laughs> bring me onto your crew. Okay, but it's going to be good. There's going to be a list. It's going to be marvellous. Okay, that would be risky. I'm going to the store now. Honestly, having floating 138 in hard mode is huge. All right, what have we got? Sadly, it's a shop with only one page, not two. Uh, that's a shame. Cloaking, mind control, and hacking. It's not a great selection. It's it's not the best selection. Hmm. And <laughs> Thomas is immediately messing me back, saying, I'm supposed to keep track of the list? You could have told me that sooner. <laughs> And so it's okay. I'll look back. I've got. I've got a list here. I've got. I've, I'll, I will find the list. I will find. I, I know Ella was on it, so I can search for Ella. Uh, and then Doctor Wasp. Doctor Wasp was first. It was Doctor Wasp, then Ella. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We've got the. We, it's, it's. It's going to be okay. Uh, okay. Do I? F okay. What could I spend this money on? Just an upgrade. Because if I were to spend eighty-five. 85 on weapon upgrades and then on power I could basically have yeah that's it that's the way to do it boom boom yeah oh but no no I could have shield 2 I could have shield 2 right now how much does that cost that still leaves me with 38 left over It's got to be shields. I can't be floating around on shield. I mean, the Zoltans buy me time, but I need two blocks of shield sooner or later. It can't not be that. That's the sensible way to do it. That is the sensible way to do it. That's the sensible way. Yeah, fine. And thank you very much to Hemlock Drinker 470 who gave five pounds and eight cents. Crito could go on the name list. Yes, we will add that on as well. And a very happy belated birthday. Hope it brings in a great year. I hope so too. Okay, we've now got two, two blocks of shields. Put that there. And you know what? I'm going to put an extra block of power because I, I desperately need, like I am short of power for when the beam drone's floating around. I'd like to actually be able to keep evasion a little bit higher. So, okay, I think that was sensible. And then we can go down here to the distress and then start working our way out. Yeah, that works. This is, it was, that was a slightly boring thing to do, but it was sensible. And three fuel. I will give you three fuel. And free reactor upgrade. So that was free, uh, three fuel will cost about nine I think, I think it's about three, three scrap per fuel. Maybe it's two, actually. That was very efficient anyway. That was very efficient. There's another distress over here. So, once again, do that. That was the right thing to do. Uh, that's just, wow. Okay. 30 scrap for free. I'll take that every time. Uh, okay. Uh, in which case, we're just, we're just heading, heading out. We're all right. And rebel ship. That is... That's just a standard combat one, and that is a defense one. Okay, so it shoots down missiles, it can't shoot down anything else. But it's only got one blob of shield, which makes me think it's utterly boned. Like, this is this is the most boned ship you shall ever see in your life. Uh, because I think I'm going to be able to disable it before it can actually do much to me. So, take that out, and then just continue auto-firing. And now we can just basically take out their drones... 
Uh, oh, they've got so many drones, though. They've got too many drones. Uh, focus all firepower on weapons, because they've got so many drones, I'm never going to be able to do the ion damage to take out this thing. Um... And then, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this out now. Get it out now. Right, okay, and just fire, 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 fire. Oh, what? Bullshit! 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 Beam 2 just basically ran straight into... Beam 2 just ran straight into a, a random block of fire. Um... Okay, focus all firepower in terms of the ions on the weapons. Um... Defense one doesn't do anything. Flak, I don't have the capacity to fire. Oh god, get get everything up. Go, go, go. We can just, just stand up against this. Luckily, the rock guy put out the fire without taking damage, which is good. We've taken a light knock to that. We've still got two shields up right now. Continue focusing fire, and as soon as we can, get this out again. And go back out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Back out. There you go. That's done some damage to the weapons room right there. And, and now it's on fire. That was a lucky fire. We got a lucky fire. Right, go, 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 go. That was more. Oh, yeah, their weapons are screwed. Their weapons are screwed. Their drone can't get through anymore. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's under control. That was a miss. That is. We Now we need the power. Uh, but now I need to take only one power out of here. Now I don't need to turn the auction off anymore. We can still have 17% dodge. And then they're offering to surrender. Unacceptable. Okay. There we go. That's good. And that'll be the end of you. Assuming you bother. There you go. You bothered firing. 25. 25 scrap is good. Okay. That that went pretty smooth. I'm not sure if... Uh, unfortunately, I've probably not got quite time to get up here and then get back again. So I'm going to just have to leave a little bit prematurely. Which is a shame. I don't like doing that. What have we got here, by the way? Damage station. Oh, this could be a trap. And... No. 13. 13 free scrap. No, I can't get there. Next sector it is. Oh, abandoned. It's the Lanius. Into the Lanius. Everyone loves the Lanius. The Lanius are good. Sector 4. So it should still be two blobs of shield, but now we're going up against Lanius. Lanius have all sorts of fun tricks. That's always good indeed. Okay. We're good. Everything's under control. Let's just check this isn't a troll. Oh, this is a bit of a difficult... Oh, look at this. Look at this utter, utter bullshit. Literally, the only way to get to the exit is via this st this station over here. If you go up north, you are screwed. You are so screwed. That is, yeah, that is, that's bullshit on toast right there. Right, well, we'll loop round, but we need to make sure we're heading south before the end of it. That is, that is awful. Oh, I love the Lanier ship. Hello, Lanier ship. Right, so Lanier ship is docked and absorbing parts of it. You probably get their attention easy enough. Yeah, give them an attack. Let's see what we got here. That doesn't look too dangerous. I think that's burst one. Is that burst two or burst one? I think that's burst two. Uh, and then a, a thing. Yeah, I think we should be able to disable that, hopefully, before it causes me too much trouble. We should hopefully be okay. Thank you to Pickled Buddha, who actually uh, donated five years dollars. said, happy birthday, you magnificent perception challenge bastard. Well, thank you very, very much indeed. If the shoe fits, it's probably a duck, as I always say. And thank you to Bammy292, who gave us a two pounds, said you should go for a fire run. Yeah, I don't think, I've come remember if any ships actually begin with, like, fire weapons. So whether you could actually do, like, an exclusively fire type thing. Ooh, okay, we've still got the Zolten Shield. Like, I think one of the, possibly one of the, the Mantis ships does? I think one of the Mantis ships does actually have... Uh, a special, like, um... Yeah, they've actually got, like, a fire bomb as one of the starting weapons. I can't remember. Maybe Mantis B? I think that's true. And the Lannies have been shredded on this occasion. But now it's going to take a little bit of concentrated iron fire to get the shields back down again, given we were focusing some firepower on their weapons. And that should be it. Six missiles. I'm not using missiles. Sorry, I'd rather have the scrap, my good man. And... Whoop. Job done. Nice. Okay, this is this is going smooth. 33 scrap. I'll take a 33. That's very nice. Now, do I have time to... Yeah, I've got time to go up one more. Just remember to go down. This is absolutely fine. And we've got intruders on... I hate intruders on board. How, who is it? It's humans. Hello, humans. Right, uh, deploy... Uh, yeah, deploy Har the Rock Johnson to intercept... Do not let the humans destroy the oxygen, please. 
Uh, so just take them out before they can do that. I did. Oh, they're going to take it out. Okay. In which case, don't do that because I need the auction to still be in the room for when I go and repair it. So those guys are going to be destroyed. And then at this point, yeah, uh, then Har the Rock Johnson will now just basically murder the rest of them. In fact, you just go around here and repair the oxygen while uh, while we're just taking care of that. Yeah, this is one of those ones without a ship. I hate these events because they don't give you anything, which is unfair. I feel like, you know, they ought to be balanced to, you know give you something but they don't give you anything like if you get this event you just take potentially you take damage but you don't actually okay slight slight problem with the amount of oxygen in the ship right now there we go and that is actually powered so that will be 100 percent okay do we need to kill anyone else john is okay john you can die as well just quickly right we'll just quickly bring the crew back up and that's absolutely 100 percent fine Ah, and thank you to Yannick Bindert, who gave us, ooh, 50 US dollars. Thank you very, very much indeed. Said, nice to see you toy, uh, take an FTL again. Here's some scrap and drone parts to help you along. Happy birthday. That's a lot of scrap and drone parts. Thank you very much indeed. And to Evil John Clone 666 who says, can I get a song? Yes, you can get a song. And to Reinfused who gave us uh, five pounds and said, I need to close those doors. She didn't actually say that. Really enthused and said, said, happy birthday. This is my regular bear egg for you to add Jagged Alliance 2 onto your list, especially since the remake is coming. It's been on the long list for a little while. I I'm sure it will make an appearance. I need to actually reset your, I need to reset your permission. I never set your position over there, did I? No, I also didn't select you. Good old Har the Rock Johnson. He's done beautiful work for me. And to David Wellman, who gave us two US dollars and said, this bribe scratched out for donation is for an XCOM 2 live stream. Oh, why would you want a live stream when you could have a full series at some point, David Wellman? Eh, eh. And to Roland Kilbarga, who gave us $15. Thank you very much indeed. He says, sorry I've been able to catch the last couple of live streams. Really enjoyed your recent uploads of Crackdown and Dust. Hope you have a very happy birthday, John. And I'm about to start coughing. <coughs> You see, I'd normally edit that out. You get you get the live unfiltered unfil version. No, the unfiltered version. That's the one. That's the one right there. Everything's 100% fine. And, okay. What do we need here? What do we need? <sighs> You'll notice a number of Lanius ships. Okay. What can I do here? They don't seem to be aggressive. Perhaps their desire for metal could prove to be useful. Try to use them to delay the rebels. Okay, you try your best to convey the notion that approaching the rebel fleet as countless uh, automated ships uh, scouted for them. However, either translation devices failed or they're not interested. They cut the channel, continue absorbing the ships. Oh, well, didn't work out for me. That was probably just an unlucky dice roll. Let's head over to, yeah, ultimately I need to head down here. So I need to be a little bit careful of this. I'll, I'll stay here. This this seems fairly, fairly decent. Now, alternative is, yeah, at some point I need to make the decision. I'm just going to wait for the next shop. Like, I know I've got enough scrap to get the flat gun up and running at this point. I'm going to wait for one more shop. One more shop. Just to see what actually goes on there. So, we've got ourselves, yep, a lovely rebel ship here. That is a beam drone right there. Uh, just commence firing on my mark. They've got quite a lot of firepower, actually. That's, that's quite a lot of firepower. Uh, but I am actually upgrading. Sydney's getting very good... Uh, all of this business. I can actually power up the dodge a bit more as well. So that's fine. Uh, yeah, we've got ourselves. Yeah, there we go. Straight away. Straight in there. Boom. And okay. They've taken out the Zolt and that is... Oh, in comes a combat drone. That's... Oh, no, that's an ion drone. That's the ion intruder, in fact. Okay, that's... That could be a little bit of trouble here. Right. Open all doors... Because then it will take longer for the oxygen to drain out of uh, through the hole. Because we need to just take that thing out. It's not very good at fighting. And deploy uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Sorry, Ha the Rock Johnson to deal with that. And hope my ship is doing a good job. Right, that has hit their shields. I mean, if I am lucky enough to actually hit... Yeah, there we go. Their Iron Intruder is being... Oh, the Iron Intruder just hit me with a massive Ion Burst. It's probably going to go and try and hit that. We're okay for the time being. While I say that... Um, until I get the ion, until the ion's off cooldown, I now can't hit their ship again. I simply can't. Uh, okay, but we need to... You guys aren't doing anything right now. Okay, um... Jax... Oh, God. Guys, just there you go. Right, one of you... Two of you head through here. You are not so good at repairing, so you head through here. Deal with that guy. Do not immediately... Bloody hell. Right, just just shoot him. Oh, the auction's wearing. Oh, the auction's going. Okay, he's dead at this point. Okay, the breach is healed, but the O2 
is currently... Okay, um, open all doors, open all doors. Let oxygen from the rest of the ship flow in to the bit that doesn't have air. And then hopefully you won't die. Hopefully. Um, just, just step into where there is oxygen. I can't afford to have those guys not be doing their job right now. Are you, you're back up to operations. Okay, continue firing. Okay, what have they got firing on me right now? That beam drone can't do anything until the shield's down. Um... You're probably right, actually, that I should get the flak up and running at this point. Let's get flak operational and... No. Arrange that. Yeah, flak. Let's get flak up and running. Uh, flak, just target these shield rooms. And if we're lucky, a little bit of light damage. Close all doors. Uh, get back to your door room. And now prepare for that. And unless they happen to get lucky with uh, firing orders, they shouldn't be able to do much to us. And there it goes. Now, if we're lucky, problem is, now I need... The beam drone needs to get lucky and hit the right moment. That's the problem. That's the problem with the flak. Because until that happens, that did a little bit of damage. Okay, that's down to one. Now the ion blast can hopefully take out the shields. Ion blast needs to take out shields, please. As soon as you're ready, just prioritize hitting that. Okay, go, 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 go. Ah, missed the chance. And then... That's a hit. I'm just gonna take the. I'm just gonna take it. I'm taking it. I'm taking 15. I'm taking 15. Okay. That was interesting. Okay. Do we have a shop? We don't have a shop. Do I want to wait for a shop or do I want to keep? Oh, oh, wait. Who's dying? Who's dying now? Why are you dying? You shouldn't be dying. Why are you dying? Why is that room? Why is that room out of oxygen? The oxygen's on. Actually, everyone could do with being killed. Hang on, guys. It's time for one of those days where we kill everyone. So just there we go. There we go. Lovely. So all of you just pop into existence over there. Actually, we could probably do with you dying as well. Right. Everyone just... Yeah, everyone. We're just going to have a quick death session. Right. The good death session. Excellent time for me to catch up. Thank you very much to CNC Psycho. Gave five pounds. Said, have you seen the Captain Dishes mod? You can accept surrender and then blow them up for scrap afterwards anyway. I am aware of Captain Dishes mod, but honestly, that change is one I do not approve of. Like, the whole point is you make the decision to sacrifice, you know, um, you know, you sacrifice some, uh, probably just like, you know, close the doors first. You know, you sacrifice some scrap to win. I mean, if you can accept surrender and then blow them up for the scrap anyway, then you just always do that like that that literally unbalances the game that's a bad change <laughs> no sorry if, if if that's what's in the caps editions i like the caps edition less than i thought i did uh because that is that that's genuinely a bad change that just it ruins the game balance so okay if that is a thing in the caps edition if i ever play it i won't be doing that because that's that's not a good change that that's a bad change um, and to Hanzan, who just gave us a 50 Swedish Krona, said, Happy birthday! You're now at the age I was when I first started watching you with New Vegas Kill Everything. Thank you for so much fun. Oh, that's nice. And, okay, seriously, I need to remember to reset position so this guy knows to go to the door room. Uh, and finally, to X-Point, who gave 10 years and said, Happy birthday, John. You've been my favourite channel ever since I found it. Thanks to the heist videos. Uh, buy yourself something nice. And Brian Larson, who just donated just this second, 10 US dollars, said, Happy birthday. According to the wiki, Beam 2 has over twice the length of Beam 1, but they are both, like, um, less than one tile in length. So, yeah, that's kind of trash, <laughs> to be honest. It's kind of trash. Okay. If I go here, the chance of finding a shop here is relatively low. I know none of these are shops. 85 plus 40 to get. Yes, for it. Go. Yeah. Okay. We now have double ion weapons and flak. Ready to go. So that is... That's pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with that. Over to the Distress, and then we'll have another... Expl Actually, maybe I'll do the Distress afterwards. Otherwise, the Distress is a bit awkward, because then once I, if I go up here afterwards, I have to go back down again. So I'm probably better off going to... I'll go to here, because then I've got a choice between two. I'll just keep an eye on on where we are. So, okay. Arrive at a well-armed Lanius craft parent to salvage a badly damaged robot tall ship, and they are moving to attack me. And they have got cloaking. Lardy flipping da. Uh, okay, we're alright. That's a halberd beam which is going to tear my Zoltan shield apart, absolutely. Uh, right, I just need to, uh, yeah, focus firepower on their weapons for the time being. And then I should be able to get a flak off 
like pretty early. I'll just put the flak over here as well. They might, actually, if they try and board, they don't have much on the ship, to be honest. So, just get that over there. And there we go. And that is... Actually, you know what? I'm going to focus on shields. Instead, I'm going to focus all... Far, actually, I'll, I'll focus half on shields and half on weapons. I'll have my flak tugged in that area. And I will activate my beam drone now. Uh, right now, I've got... Yeah, they are going to try and teleport, but that's... You can't deoxygenate them, John. They're Lanius. Like, literally doing without auction is their thing. Where are you going? Oh, you're going into the most crowded room, are you? Well, that's stupid. And in comes the dodge. Their halberd beams down, which means basically they can't damage me for the time being. So now, just get that over there. And, ah! Unlucky on the timings. Uh, continue firing. And nice. They're offering surrender. I think we're doing very well in this fight. Return to your position, please, in case they decide to teleport anyone else. And now, yeah, the ion together with the flak is they don't sync together perfectly but it'll do it'll do that will that'll do nicely 22 scrap there and okay i've probably got time to yeah i've probably got time to go up here then do the distress i think i've got time to do both i think we should be okay in that regard all right merchant ship and lanny's transport okay turns out they've been studying the lanny's ability to reshape metal Inquire about the process, and... Interesting. Unfortunately, I can't afford any of this, which is a shame. Uh, so, sadly, nothing I can do there. Right, down to the distress in that case. Let's start looping around to the south. We're getting through Sector 4. We're burning through that a bit too quickly. Mantis ship looks like its distress beacon is malfunctioning. Alright, just will land a ship mining their hull and subsystems. Alright, I'd say... Attack the Lanius. Oh, yeah, they've literally got one. That's a big-ass missile launcher. But they've only got one block of shields, which, quite frankly, in Sector 4 is generous for hard mode. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got here. We're okay. We're okay. It's under control. Now, just let that charge up. Uh, they'll fire their mega missile. But, oh, that's what's nice. Because, uh, yeah, you uh, the missile, all three points were just eaten by the Zoltan. So then I'm going to be able to fire that thing again for a little while. But as it's only one block of shields, I'd like to prioritise trying to, uh, yeah, actually trying to hit the weapons. So we'll just go for that. And flak, I'll go for, I'll go for over here, actually. I'll try and see if I can knacker there. Actually, I'll go for the, the actual shield systems. They've gone for, yeah, they have gone for a, uh, a, a teleport over there. Bring in the rock. And, oh, that's a nice knock onto that over there. I should probably get my beam drone out at this point. Now's a good time for that. And there we go. Just anytime you're ready. There you go. That's more damage to that over there. And that's out. That was a big hit. Big hit, big hit, big hit. And this guy is unfortunately causing me trouble. He decided to teleport away. You go and deal with that fire. You get out of that room to re -oxygenate. It has re -oxygenate. Get back in there in that case. But this seems to be under control to me. Put out the fire, please, because you're good at putting out fires. Luckily, it spread that direction, not this way. That would have been more trouble had it gone the other way. What are they firing at right now? And they are out. They just fired another one right over there. That is no good. In fact, uh, change all targets to weapon systems, please. I just want the weapons down. In fact, we're just about to finish them off. There we go. And yeah, I had spare power. I need to remember that when I activate the, um, the battery, I've normally got spare power. And the Mantis... Oh! Wow! The Mantis just gave me scrap. Mantis do not often... What are you still doing here? Why are you still... Okay, let him let him work on that. No, no, let him work on that for the time being. I need the doors fixed. I need the doors fixed before we do anything. Um, Because then I can actually open the doors to re the surrounding area. Once I fix the doors, then that guy uh, can't do anything to me. Uh, and he can't break the system anyway. Okay. Now we can basically just swarm him. Uh, because now, basically, if I just open up all these doors, then, as a result, oxygen will flow into that room. We should be okay. Some people have mentioned that, yeah, there are, there are apparently consequences to the, uh, the system, whereby you actually, um, you do the thing where you sacrifice, uh, you basically, um, you, in Captain's Edition's mod that was just mentioned, where you, by the way, you're gonna die here, but honestly, that's fine. Uh, you can just, in fact, you know what you could all do with a refresh? All of you just die, where it makes your crew like you less. Ah, I just... 
I don't like mods that come in and make major changes to game balance like that. I just don't. Like, if they add new stuff, fine. Like, I don't like the sound of that change. I personally prefer the original system, where I think it's a very nice, clean, swapsy round. I will definitely give it a look at some point, but... Sometimes I find mods... Oh, you need to die as well. Sometimes I find mods can overstep their bounds and make changes that aren't aren't always a good idea. Not always. Right, you guys get back to position, please, though. Just stay still until that room auction is there. Now you can fix that. Though, actually, stay where you were. You need to repair this thing if you'd be so flipping kind. Thank you to Matthew Nelson, who just gave five years on and said, Happy birthday, John. Hopefully it was Claire who baked your cake. Not that I would ever say anything disparaging about your skills as a baker. You think Claire baked me a cake? Claire couldn't even be bothered to be here at all. Uh, oh, also, you haven't finished repairing... Everyone just finished repairing that room, please. Lickety split microchips. Thank you. Everyone back to your position. There we go. <laughs> ah, lovely. Right. Now, yeah, distress. Head down south. If we're lucky, we'll hit a shop. I could do with some light repairs. We'll see how we do. But, oh, that's... This is the first time we've ever seen three shield blobs. Time to see how well we do. I'm very glad I've upgraded flak now. This would just straight up kill me if I hadn't upgraded flak. Right. Focus all firepower on. Actually, no. Focus firepower on shields. Weapons are not a big deal uh, on this ship. That's just a basic crappy and that's a mini B. That is not so bad. Focus all firepower on weapons. That fire beam's not going to be able to do much to me. We just need to focus on getting everything down as fast as possible. Right. Um, get that down. Boom. Two. One. Okay. Continue firing. I'm going to wait one more moment before we're ready to go. I think we should be ready. Yeah, okay. I'm going to activate the battery in the beam drone now. And there we go. That's the right moment. Oh, they've deployed. No. No, they must not. They must not. They, he must not be allowed to just damage that system. And uh, open all doors to allow oxygen to flow freely. Because uh, we need to take him out. That needs to go. Boom, boom. We need to disable this ship quickly. That needs to... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. That's a fire. That's a fire in the drone room. I like a fire in the drone room. That works for me. Okay. There we go. Uh, power up engines. I have the spare power right now. And just continue to target. There we go. No, I'm willing to not accept surrender there. You know what? This has actually worked out pretty nicely. This has actually worked out pretty well. I mean, the thing is you can't really link up the shots effectively. But it's... It's gone alright. It's gone alright here. And the deoxygenation is spreading. That's fine. You're almost done with... Guys, make sure he actually succeeds in that... Sacrifice all of yourselves to repair that. And now just, if you wouldn't mind, just dying, actually. Yeah, there you go. Now you can all die. Everything's good. No, die. I said, you, you're you weak. You must die. If you're weak, you get killed. We, we've been over this. That's how the ship works. We have a cloning bay for a reason. I paid a lot for it. Okay? We're not, we're not not killing you when the moment is right. All right. There we go. So, prepare for that. And everyone... Turn to your positions. Everything is fine. Everything's under control. And I actually, oh, I, you know, I did power up. I did power up the actual, you know, uh, weapons and engines and whatever. Now I remembered to do that. Yeah, boom. Yeah, uh, no big deal. Uh, okay, back to 108 scrap. I want to save this. Uh, now I'm okay. There's nothing I desperately want in a hurry. That's a two. That's nothing major. Uh, fine, this one should be this one should be pretty simple. As that's only a two, I'm going to actually focus firepower on uh, weapons while the flag targets the shields. And we should be able to take them out pretty quickly. That should actually not be a big deal. Uh, in fact, actually, I'm just going to power up the beam now. Uh, so if we get the timing right, unlucky... No, unlucky on the timing there. You kind of that's the problem with beam drones. You can't you can't sync up the times correctly. But now that's all going down. That's going down. This is gonna go down in a hurry. We've still got three. They've already offered to surrender. I'm not accepting. Zoltan's down, but at this point, yeah, that's down dead. Okay, this ship's this ship's actually kicking ass. This ship's actually kicking ass. This is this is doing alright. This is doing okay, all things considered. Uh 29. 
Still no shop, unfortunately, and that's all I can go to. Thank you very much to Toe of Pie, who just donated a very generous 20 US dollars. And actually did indeed say happy birthday, John. And here's interesting. We've actually got ourselves, uh, yeah, a uh, ship cannon actually on our side. Someone on the plant is going to be firing down over there. So we've actually got assistance. I'm not sure why the game's given us assistance. We don't need it. We're fine. <laughs> We're okay, actually. We're, we're, we're doing fine. We're doing all right. Uh, so yeah, there's actually going to be some nice allies. I mean, it, kind of, it looks like they're firing more at me. To, I'll be honest, it does look like that, but I'm sure it's okay. Right. And they're going to board with someone sooner or later. Focus all firepower on shields for the time being. Uh, just to get the shields down. Ouch, yeah, in comes the teleportation. Right, one person over there. They love teleporting into the weapons room. Deploy hard the rock, Johnson. Take that out. We should be in good shape to probably get the beam two out at this point. Uh, yeah, their shields are down. Good, that was the right time for that. And that is... Oh, that's their cloaking device done. That fire is going to go automatically, obviously. Ah, bad luck. Bad timing. That's the oxygen dead. Uh, you go and deal with that. Did they teleport home or were they killed? I missed that. Sorry, I was paying attention to their ship. Uh, round there. Uh, we do not need to put bonus power into the engines. They're already at full capacity. I probably could actually give a new capacity engine. We've got more firepower coming in. Okay, where's that assistance? Ouch, that's more damage to the drone's room. Okay, guys, I need you to leave the weapons. Leave the weapons for the time being. I've got the power for the weapons uh, manually. Uh, I need you to fix up the drone room, like, in a hurry. Uh, oxygen is down for the time being. We're okay. Flak cannon can do decent work. Focus on the weapon room, please. Yeah, there you go. Uh, where the cop? Is that... There we go. That was something. And that's them taken out. The flak saved us there. That was a bit dicey. Ooh! Eight hull points repaired. <laughs> nice. So, uh, that's good. That's good. We just got myself eight free healing. I would take that. I would take that every flipping time. Okay. That, that was a little bit on the dicey side. A little bit on the dicey side. I know people are saying, like, you know, targeting weapons rather than shields. The problem is, like, it's difficult to target weapons because when you're relying on Ion, and Ion is on a timer that you don't always, like, have full visibility of because I don't have Sensor 3, it can be quite difficult to, like, I find it easier to focus, say, focus, like, razor sharp on the, um, the shields because you have no control over when and where the beam drone fires. So as a result of that, I really need the beam drone to be, like, targeting the right location. Or rather, I need to give the beam drone 100%, you know, uh, availability. So I need to destroy... I need to make sure their shields are always down 100% all the time so the beam drone always has the shot. Because it's actually doing a lot of damage to me. Now, what have we got here? You have got door subsystem for 13. I'll take that. Nice. Doors up by 13. That means the doors are already in position, which means actually... Uh, yeah, that means that Hard the Rock Johnson can move over to Scanners and actually give me Scanner 3. So actually, that will give me visibility of Ion, which is quite useful for my ship. Right, next sector. Oh, cock! <laughs> sector 5, Mantis Homeworlds! Yay! This is where we die! This is where we die! I enjoy dying i enjoy dying right okay uh not a particularly trolly one to be honest everything links up to everything else pretty sensibly uh let's just start looping around this sort of a way if we start about here this is fine i'll probably loop up the top way there this is all absolutely 100 percent fine okay uh gridded by a rare site mantis ship that appears not to have noticed you attack the ship yeah attack it so now we've got visibility of their weapon charges and we should have visibility of ion cooldown in full as well this is other people people immediately start typing f and buy i don't think this is a problem I, I think this is fine i think this is quite manageable in fact um that's not gonna do a great job piercing any of my business i think that's actually quite manageable don't forget to actually power up the shields mind having the shields fully powered would be a good idea. Right, uh, prepare to open fire three shield blobs. With three shield blobs, I'm going to have my ion weapons focused on their shields. And I'll have the flak focused on their weapons. See if I can just do some light damage to that. But, I don't know what that bomb is. That bomb could be... I don't think you can tell from looking at the outside what a bomb actually is. Uh, whether it's like a fire bomb or an iron bomb. I think they all look the same. Okay, prepare for the flak. And you know what? I'm going to deploy the... Um, I'm going to deploy the beam drone immediately. 
uh, just to see what we've got here. And go, get a bit of a hit in. Nice, that got a hit in against a few of their bits and pieces. And their teleporter is also damaged as well. Down to one shield blob. I think we'll be able to actually do quite a bit of damage to them before they do huge amounts to us. And then around here, more damage, door systems down, systems down. You see this? This is why I think people people were... Don't panic, guys. Seriously. Don't overreact. This is fine. Um, that was that was manageable. I looked at that and thought, that looks doable to me. That looks eminently doable. And... Oh, people were asking, yes, this is hard difficulty. This is hard. Um... I just make it look easy because I'm so damn skilled. Uh, so, we'll just move straight on here. I think we've got time to visit this one before we loop round to the north. I think we've got time to spend a bit more time before we loop north here. And just time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship. Okay. Interesting. Destroying small pirate craft. Intruder on deck. Okay. Oh, not this. I hate this event. No. This event is the worst because it can screw... Both sides can really badly screw you over. So, if you agree to offer up the Mantis in exchange for a bounty, the Mantis has a pretty decent chance of straight up murdering you. Um, and murdering one of your crew members. If you side with the Fugitive and fight the NG ship, then I think the NGs have a good chance of, like, doing some disabling stuff. You get a chance of gaining the Mantis. No, I'm, si I'm siding with that. Five damage to Hull. Yeah, as I thought. So, the Mantis, that's that's actually, it's a teller, it's like a, it's a trap as well. So, it kind of screws you over. Uh, and this is three blocks of shield, and how are you planning to hurt... Oh, this is interesting. I'm not sure either of us is really in a position to hurt the other. This is fascinating. So they've got... Um, that's defense two, that's defense one, and that's anti-drone drone. So my beam drone is completely out of this. Um, okay. I mean, can I even hurt this guy? Defense to... Uh, maybe. If I turn auto fire off and I fully charge up... I'm going to need to fully charge up the charge ion. And then I need to... Excuse me, why is that not on? That really should be on. So they've got a mini B. And they've got like some form of charge ion over there. Um, so they're going to do that. Okay. But is that ever going to be able to do enough iron damage to penetrate two blobs of shield itself? Probably it is. I might just want to run. This is probably just uh, a run situation. I'll see if I can knock it down. I'm going to fire all ion weapons right now at their shields and then follow it up. And in fact, you know what? Screw it. I'll, follow, I'll just basically fire everything simultaneously. Uh, go. And block, block, block. And no. Because defense 2 can shoot down incoming flak, I think, by the looks of it. Because it aimed at something. I don't think either of us can actually hurt the other. Um, so as a result of that, I think we just basically want to run. Yeah, I don't think we can really... Unfortunately, I, neither of us can really hurt the other. I'm just going to go. Um, that's, that's just a bit of a fiddly ship. Now, what do you want? We're trying to get back in our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade. I could try to improve your reactor. Oh. No, that's actually a bad deal. Because three drone parts is quite expensive, and I do need them to not die. Oh, there's a store! Uh, 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 uh. No, stay away from the store for the time being. It's not a good time to go to the store. That will lock me too far to the south. Loop round. There's nothing there. Yeah, go to distress. Here, then distress, then store. It's gonna be fine. So, we've got ourselves a sun system. That's not a big deal. This is only two blobs of shield. That's quite manageable. So in which case, uh, just, yeah, focus all firepower on weapon systems. Flak can focus on shields. We should be able to kill these guys off pretty quickly. And you, get back on the sensor if you'd be so kind. I'd like to see what's going on there. So we can see that. And boom. And that was a, sadly, that was a miss across the board. We're probably already safe to deploy the beam two, though. Deploy the beam to the Zoltan Shield Slips. So they can't teleport to me yet. And come on, guys. Guys, seriously, what are you doing? Oh, I turned auto fire off. Turned, I forgot auto fire was off. It's fine. It's under control. I know what I'm doing. I, I know what I'm doing. Everything's fine. Oh, that's nice. Wait, what happened to my beam two just got completely sniped off. This is, this is great. 
Okay, so we've got someone's come aboard, but they've they've actually decided to come into the room of um, Harther Rock Johnson, which is a bad idea. Jack's going off for assistance just in case, because I think he's actually might just lose that. The soda flares coming in momentarily. That ship doesn't have a shield right now, and oh, that was some good damage. We're ready for beam two back again. Uh, the battery's still at some health. We can do that. Yep, the mantis is almost dead. Light damage, nothing major. Pretty big fire up front in the cockpit, unfortunately. Everyone return to your positions. No, stay on stay on that room. Stay in that room. I prefer you to be on there, to be honest. Beam drone is already firing at this point. Yeah, they're on fire. You need to just deal with that fire by yourself, and that is unpowered right now. Uh, depower clone bay. Depower that. Power up that. Now, I don't see them getting their shields up in a hurry, and especially with... There comes the flag. Job done. Whew! There we go. 41 scrap. I'll take that. Uh, now, unfortunately, I can't leave just yet. You dealt with that fire pretty well, actually. Well done. But until uh, we get the cockpit running, we can't get out of here. No, we can get out before the next. Good. Go to the distress. Love it. Right. Good, good, good. Thank you very much to Paulicus, who just gave us 20 US dollars. Thank you very, very much indeed. Said, happy birthday, John. Your Warhammer 1 series got me into the war, and my friends liked your accounting VR vid. I just adopted a darling white and tan cat from the shelter. Could you name someone Cinnamon for her? Oh, we will add Cinnamon to the list of names. But to be honest, we haven't even got to Dr. Wasp yet, so that name is quite long. I've got plenty of fuel. I will give you that, and you give me 46. Oh, that was such a good deal. This is a ridiculous amount of scrap to be floating. Okay. Everybody, cross your fingers. Because I'm about to arrive at a store with 270 scrap. This could be the point where I make some... Like, at this point, it's quite frankly my... You know, it's, it's my job to make grossly, grossly inappropriately irresponsible purchasing decisions by making it rain in this shop and... <gasps> beam one! Beam one! Beam one! Beam one! Double beam drone! Double beam drone! Double beam drone! Yes! Ah, yes, 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 I'm so glad. I'm so happy. I don't care about any... Uh, screw it, whatever. Uh, all right, get get rid of that. That's garbage. By B1. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Right, how much does it cost to get that? Not even that much. Boom, dumb, boom, dumb. Okay, so double beam drone. <laughs> yes. Double beam drone. <laughs> This is going to be ludicrous. Okay, and I've still got money. I've still got money. Ooh, flak. Double flak. Double flak. X-Point just gave two euros and said, fingers crossed, Captain John, best captain, and you are right. How do we feel about double flak? How do we feel about double beam flak? Are we feeling good about double beam flak? I'm feeling like double beam flak is, is uh, that's that's pretty good. I'm feeling like if we got rid of the charge ion and went over to double beam flak, we could keep the ion blast. We could keep the ion blast. I bet the charge, that's quite, ex yeah, that's quite good. That's quite good. Double beam, double beam flak. Ooh. Bye. Oh, yeah. Chat, chat is making an excellent point. Chat is, you know, I just want you to know, I was ready to do something really awesome. But chat's being like, no, you need to, you need to. You need to be responsible and buy some. Fine, I'll buy the drone parts first, mum. Um, okay. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Double flak beam, double flak drone, double beam flak drone, flak beam, double drone, two flags beam. Excellent. And X Point also just noted two euros and said double donation. <laughs> Oh, happy John is very, very happy birthday, by the way, said Math Gamer with two euros. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, this is good. This is, this is good. This is good stuff right here. This is going to kick ass and take names. Or possibly, uh, yeah, or possibly take ass and kick names. It, 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 who knows? Uh, okay, then spend some money on... Is there anything else I need? No. None of this. Uh, take a full heal. Okay. And then, how are we on fuel? I can do with a bit of fuel. I'll take I'll take two more blocks of fuel. This is going to be interesting. Because I'm going to run dry of drone parts so cocking fast. I'm going to... This is ridiculous. 
This is actually ridiculous. Um, I should save up 30 for another engine upgrade. Engine upgrade should probably be next on my list of things to do. <laughs> this is a ridiculous ship. Oh, this is beautiful. This is the most stupid ship, and I love it. Right, let's let's see how this old girl does. Let's see how this old girl does. And we've got oh a mantis bomber. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's let's see how we do here. Let's just see how we do here. So, oh, so, 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 so. Oh, oh. This is gonna be fun. Okay, uh, turn the auto fire off. Now I need to actually synchronize the firing patterns. So. Do not fire the Ion Blast until... Yeah, don't fire the Ion Blast. Okay, probably best to get the... Best to get the Beam 2 out immediately. Okay, and then I need to... Then I need to sacrifice one power and engines to get Beam 1 out. Ah, uh, screw it. I want to show this off. Yay! This is grossly irresponsible! Grossly irresponsible. Grossly irresponsible. Fire everything at shield room one, please. Shields! Fire all the flag! Flag, 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 flag! Okay, fire everything! Fire all the iron! Fire all the beams! Fire all the beams! This is... This totally doesn't work in the slightest! Okay, just just continue firing. Continue firing all... Continue firing all weapons and... Boom! Okay, now continue firing, continue firing, continue firing. <laughs> this doesn't work at all! But the flag has actually got such a short recharge time, it actually kind of accidentally does. Continue firing! Continue firing! Fire all the things! Fire all the things! <laughs> Sooner or later, we'll actually make it work. This is- this isn't work- <laughs> this is a terrible idea! <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna have auto fire on, actually. Okay, there we go. There we go! Now we finally got the shield room down. There we go. Oh, beams! Beam! 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 It doesn't work in the slightest. It says, oh no, that was Kaz! That was Kazakpa for Kalik! Balls! That's the way you unlock the cocking ship of the, the captain. That's how you unlock the Manta ship. But I couldn't have got it. You need, um, you need a teleporter and you need first aid bay too. Um. Excellent. It's, it's... At this point, basically, when you fight me, it's just basically, there's just an endless stream of flipping flak being thrown in your face together with beams flashing everywhere. It's like the world's most violent disco, and I love it. It's sexy. Okay, let's let's do this. And Blood Red Man's Invasion Ships. Well, in all fairness, they're all red, so it, it's fine. Uh, okay, let's, let's try this again. Try this again. Continue firing. Fire, fire everything at shields. Fire all the things. Uh, this is only a, a two a two thing, so we're probably okay. So fire, boom, boom. That'll do the job right there. Um, okay, probably just deploy just the beam two. I don't need beam one on this occasion. I think we're okay. Yeah, one beam will do the job there. That was some damage to the weapon systems. In comes the flak. In comes the shields. In comes that. In comes the other. Uh, at this point, change the targets to weapon room, please. I would prefer that missile not to fire. There you go. Job done. Nice. And you're trying to invade my ship, are you? Good luck with that. 40. Uh, right, you get over here ready to assist. So that's a mantis of, you know, some but not massive levels of toughness. Everyone just go and, like, help out for a bit. You just walk across the deoxygenated room. Everyone goes over here. We'll take him out before too much damage is done. Everyone returns to your positions. And I remember to reset his position. Reset his position. Lovely. And, oh, interesting donation from Hemlock Drinker 470. You just donated five pounds. That apparently today is also the 13th anniversary of the Taking the Hobbits to Isengard. To Isengard. To Isengard. They're taking the Hobbits to Isengard. God. Good, 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 God. I remember that song when it first came out. That was great. That's, young people don't know that song, but it was fun. And Robert Kaiser, who just donated five US dollars. Thank you very, very much indeed. And said, if you get lucky, maybe you'll find a drone recovery arm. It's essential. It would be pretty good, especially as I just didn't get a drone out of that fight. I need to find more shops. I need to find more shops purely so I can just buy cocking drones. I just need shops. Oh, God. Right, a uh, ship with conspicuous pirate markings orbiting a nearby moon, broadcasting a simple message claiming to have equipment available for sale. I will see if it actually is willing to do so. Yep, and buy drone parts 
Five drone parts for 25 scrap. That's actually a really good deal. All right. I'm glad I did business with that pirate. Boom. NG or Zoltan? NG kind of screws me over because NG have got defense drones and thus will be able to deal with my beam drones. Zoltan is better for me because my drones can also assist with taking out... Yeah, and Flak is good at taking out Zoltan shields. So it's got to be Zoltan. Okay. 51 scrap. Store! Store, 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 store. Actually, I'll go here first. Let's see if we can just get a bit more scrap in case there's something else good. Oh, not Pulsar. I hate Pulsar. Pulsar's the worst. Pulsar is the stupidest thing. Oh, God. Oh, and that's three shield blobs. Oh, this is going to be fun. And when I say fun, I mean we all die here right now. Focus on disabling his weapon systems. That is weapon. That's too many weapon systems. I don't like it. Focus on just taking out... Uh, Okay, one flak on weapons, one on shields. Okay. Activate everything else. We've got the power for it for the time being. We're all right. We're okay. And, okay, that goes down. That's one and that's another. Didn't manage to do much, unfortunately. In comes a lot of fire. We're going to struggle to penetrate these shields. We're going to really struggle to penetrate these shields. But then, okay, the ion pulse could save me or it could screw me. Okay, what did it hit? Oh, flip! It just took out them. Go, go, deploy everything. Deploy all of the things. Deploy the things. Deploy the things. Deploy all of the things. Uh, right, deploy, 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 deploy everything. Right, just fire, fire everything. Fire everything you've got. Fire, fire all the beams. Fire beam drones. Beam drones. Beam drones. Beam drones. Beam drones. Oh, there's firing going on. Uh, there's, there's, you're fire, fighting over there, are you? That's, that's fine. I don't actually care. Uh, right, okay, guys, guys, go and go and assist, go and assist, go and assist. We don't need, do we need shields? We don't need shields, I've got spare power. You're offering to surrender, are you? Oh, I don't think we accept that, I think we just kill you instead. Boop, 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 dead. And you, you can just try and kill me, I don't care. Uh, okay, that's 31. And in it comes Ha the Rock Johnson. And he has successfully killed, you've killed another two people, you magnificent bastard. Okay, um, everyone else is coming back. Return to your positions. Ion pulses. Okay, wait for a good ion pulse, quite frankly. Just wait for a good ion pulse. <laughs> There's no point jumping until we happen to have got a decent ion pulse. Um, okay. Wait for that ion pulse. That's good. That's fine. Jump now. Uh, head to the store with 82. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. And what have we got here? That's another two drone parts. Take both of them. 66. Long range scanners is not terrible. Distraction boys, yeah, can do without. Advanced FTL revisiting beacons can be useful if there's a shop. I don't think that's going to help me that much. I've got nothing to sell. And I'm already at max health. I'll take some fuel. We're all right. Okay. I'm going to take an extra point of evade. Uh, yeah, I'll take the extra point of evade right now. And we should be okay. In fact, I could. How much for the next? 40 is the next. And I'm up to 40% evade, which is pretty good. Uh, so we're up to 40% evade. This is fine. We're okay. We're all right. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. Okay, move on. Uh, just check this isn't a troll system, by the way. Uh, no, that's okay. If you go down here, it is a little bit. Uh, given you can't access that from any of that. But if I just go down here and then just basically loop along here. We won't be here for long, unfortunately. We're not going to be here for very long at all. Um, but at this point, we're kind of we're kind of in the right sector. Where there's just like, we're just going to run into something that's just going to shred me. Just going to flipping shred me. And everything's going to be absolutely fine. Okay, what do we have here? Hmm... We've got something that's quite bad, and intruders. Okay, those intruders aren't so bad really. Well, they're about to trash my, my drone bay, but I have reinforced doors. I'm not sure they're going to be able to, and come on, come on, come on. There we go. So, this is... This could be dicey. Three blocks of shields, Zolt Super Shield. That is Burst Laser 3 and a big missile launcher, and we've got enemies on board. Okay. Hold out. Just target everything. Auto fire. Is it worth me immediately putting one person on? And 
we're okay. We're all right. Everything's fine. You, by the way, Sydney, can go back to your position, please. Uh, actually, no, don't. Maybe maybe just for the time being, stay where you are. Uh, these guys can just stay here and slowly be suffocated to death. Everything's going to be fine. And thank you very much to Rumu, who donated 10 US dollars, said, I bet in the chat you'd kill off John with the clone bait off. Well done, John. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's under control. I'm going to have Beam 2 on, because Beam 2 will just help me deal with this Salt and Shield faster. And I'm concerned by... Ah, oh, but if I do that, that needs to be turned off. Am I willing to sacrifice 5%? Yes, I am. I'm willing to sacrifice 5% of evade to just... There we go. So that is already almost gone right there. And now... Oh, crikey heck! This is going to go to hell fast. Okay, they've managed to make it through that door. They might, There's a fire there, but that fire... I can put that fire out. Um, Har the Rock Johnson can kill that. You get in there and assist with this, please. Shut all doors. In comes a major hit there. That's another fire which I could have done without, to be honest. Okay, uh, reactivate Clone Bay immediately. Uh, Clone Bay is back on. It's fine. You get a moment's grace to reactivate the Clone Bay. Everything is gone. Okay. I've still got one flak available to me. Uh, this room will reoxygenate. There is oxygen. Take you off here. That room will reoxygenate. I need you to repair the weapon system. I've still got Ion Blast and Flak, but that's not going to be enough. The problem is timing. The problem is timing because uh, the Beam 2 drone is going to be useless at getting the timing synced up. Put the extra power into Evade and hope until... Uh, unless You know what? Screw it. Sacrifice uh, the Ion. Go for... No, no. Okay, no. Seriously. What's wrong with you? Oh, you just need more power, do you? Fine. Uh, two Flaks. I'll have both the Flaks sacrifice the Ion Blast. Okay, this is fine. Um, oh, the clone bay is... The clone bay is off and on fire. Who's dying right now? John! Oh, John, no! John! John, no! Oh, John. Oh, John. John, I'm so sorry. I don't know what we can do. Attempt to save John. Attempt to save John. The doors will be fine. They're not going to be sending anyone else over. Attempt to save John. No, John! John! Okay, um... I need you to fix the, the weapon system. The shields are taking hits. The make missiles. This is where it all goes wrong. Okay, evade only 25% right now. We need to focus on weapons. I'm willing to accept 0% evade for the sake of... I shouldn't have accepted 0% evade! Uh, um, no, get back, we can escape. Get back over there, we can try and escape this. Uh, as long as the, as long as we can keep this, just uh, keep charging. Oh no, the cockpit just went down. Um, redeploy, you two, ignore that, ignore that, focus over here now. Uh, fire, 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 we're not going to be able to get through. Get the cockpit fixed up. We might be able to escape in the nick of time, but with 0% of evade, I doubt it, I doubt it, I doubt it. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, fix, fix fast up, fix fast up. There we go. We've got evade up to 25%. Uh, go, 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 go. Technically, if I never unpause, if I never unpause, this is just a nice view. Of the exterior of the ship. This this is just a nice view of the exterior of the ship. I shouldn't have pulled John off cockpit. He, we, actually, we wouldn't have been able to anyway because the cockpit was hit by the blast. So it didn't matter that John was pulled off cockpit. It, it didn't matter. It didn't actually matter there. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. That was a, that's a really tough ship. Like, a ship with Zoltan Shield, and three Shield Blobs, and Burst Laser 3, and a massive missile launcher, and a drone, and you start with four people on board your ship. That is nasty. That is, that is brutal. That is just absolutely brutal. Like, I don't think there's, honestly, I don't even think there's much shame in losing to that. I think that is, that is to be expected. Have I even ever played with this ship before? Hang on. Um, see, no, that's the first time I, I think I've actually ever even played with the all together there. So that is, that is a shame. 
right there. Oh, sad stuff. Sad, flipping stuff right there. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. And thank you very much to Xpoint who just gave two euros and said, Rip John. Yes, John was indeed ripped. Thanks to all of the excessive cloning, they made him absolutely flipping ripped. And hang on, I wonder if I can... Can I fix this live? I don't know if I can do this live. Hang on, I've never actually attempted... I've never actually attempted to do this. If I add a new... No, that just that just causes everything to go that just causes everything to go black. Okay, because I've got hang on, I've got I've got things, I've got things like Venus. Venus has apparently produced fan art that Thomas is just linking me to. Let's see one of them. Got warm. Got warm. It's gonna be a little bit tricky to to get it fixed up. Hang on, hang on. There we go. We've got some things here. Right. Okay. Hang on. I've got things to share. I've got exciting, sexy things to share. Uh, okay, that is in the hedgehog's folder. Alright. There we go. Let's just quickly. Hey, I've got things! This thing. This is going to be this is gonna be good. Uh right. Add image. Yes. And hang on. Image. Properties. They didn't I did this 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 should this, I could have I could have actually set all this up beforehand. So, fit screen. Right, hang on, we're good, we're good. Everything's under control. Don't panic. I've got a, I've got a plan here. Uh, Charles and got a couple of cool things to share. Uh, where are they? I saved them somewhere. There we go. And just get there. We go. We got that. We got that from Venus, and we got something else from Venus as well, actually. We've got a different thing. We have got the a uh, slightly more appropriate one, all things considered. And there we go. That's nice. I like that. I might actually use those. I might actually keep those and actually use them uh, next time. So those were both by uh, Venus Victrix, which is marvellous. Now, I'm in a bit of an odd situation right now because it, it's quarter to eight. I was planning to wrap up at about eight because eight is when the next part of the crew two comes out. So I don't really have time to start uh, a new thing, unfortunately. But yes, I quite like that. Those are, those are quite nice. I might actually genuinely, uh, I might actually keep those and use those next time. I might just slightly resize them. Um, so they're actually by 16 by 9, so they actually fit in the, the standard uh, YouTube thing. But that's kind of cool. That's cool. And I like that. And thank you as well, just uh, very quickly, to Hayden Smith, who donated five Australian dollars, said, what a run. Thanks for making my insomnia better, John. To Jax Hill, who donated two US dollars, said, it was a pleasure serving with you, Captain John. To Yazir Af um, uh, yeah. Afzal, who donated another five US dollars. He's donated so much today. Thank you so much, um, Yazir, who's donated five dollars for the funeral cost. And to Soviet Apple, who donated five US dollars for, and said, if it comforts you to think about it, nothing really matters in the end anyway. It's not comforting. That's not comforting at all. But yes, I, I think that that's reasonable. Someone did just kind of randomly yell q and I think that's reasonable. So, Thomas... <laughs> Thomas is going to sift through questions that are flung in the chat, and he's going to DM me the best ones. Yay! And that's, of course, I happen to see one that I just feel like answering. So, fling, fling questions. Fling question. I'll gladly answer questions briefly. Now, we also do have something else as well. Apparently, hang on, we've got ourselves... Yeah, there's actually a new song by Unirob as well, which we will play at the end. We will, we will, Unirob can play us out, as is, as is becoming a delightful tradition. I'm very much enjoying his music. So, uh, let's have a loop see. Ah, oh, marvellous. And thank you very, very much indeed as well, while well, we just catch up uh, with that, to Garuda1296, you just noted five million dollars and said, thanks for putting Sydney on. I love that she was uh, the only not Green Zoltan, given that's her favourite colour. F. And to David J 23888 who's just noted £2 and said, can you do more FTL challenge runs? What is the meaning of life? 43, that is the meaning of life. Right there. And circles or squares? Circles, they're so much more pleasing. And you feel like you want to squidge them. That That's the thing. John, who was phone? It was a ghost, obviously. 
That's, that's obviously true. A Dragon Age Origins? Never heard of it. Never, never flipping heard of it. Not, not, not a clue what you're talking about there. I'm just going to move this over here so I can actually see it a bit more easily. Thomas has picked the question out. Why are you so mean to Thomas? I'm not. That is, this is, this is biased. Biased selection of questions. You ever thought about taking a look at Yakuza 0? Yes, actually. I have been meaning to. Very likely it will do. Thoughts on Minecraft? There's a Minecraft 2? Is motion possible only with the help of thrust? Thankfully, as the ladies will tell you, uh, it's not a problem I ever run into. Uh, John, can you play a Slug B? I'm not sure if I haven't got Slug B unlocked on this, in this save file. I think just by sheer coincidence I don't actually have Slug unlocked. Yeah, I don't have Crystal, Slug or Mantis unlocked on this version. Though I'm pretty sure I do on one of my laptops, so I could just move the save file over. Uh, but actually, I, I happen to not have Slug unlocked. Like, I've got different ships unlocked on if different versions of this. Because I think I must have actually... I don't know what it's done. Because I know that this game does have, like, Steam, like, save files. You can save to the Steam cloud or whatever. But I don't actually understand why it doesn't do it. Possibly because there's too many different iterations of the save data and it doesn't know which one ups take precedence. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Venus says, Why do you hate me? I don't know. I think you started it. Any more Bad North in the future? I think it would make an excellent live stream. I think it would make an excellent flipping live stream. So that is entirely possible. Indeed. That, that's quite possible. <laughs> Did Don just say what I think I heard him say? Hopefully, otherwise you should probably get your ears tested. John, when is more Witcher coming along? I don't know. I mean, I really enjoyed Witcher 1. I hope they make a sequel one day. Um, what else have we got? Any plans on replacing Thomas as soon as robots are capable of doing- Oh, look, a toaster! Um, Resident Evil 4 playthrough! Ooh, I'd love to, you know. When it's a quiet moment, I'd absolutely flipping love to. Phantom Doctrine, when? You know, weirdly, not that many people watch that video. Uh, so I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Any more Fallout Challenge runs coming up? Not really, to be honest, because straight after we um, are done with Dust, hopefully, we should be about ready to go into 76. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get my hands on 76. I'm really hoping early. Uh, I imagine they'll kind of, they'll want to, you know, I, I have, I've literally, this is not evident, I have no evidence upon which to build this assumption. I would work under the assumption that if Bethesda are wanting to do something ahead of 76, they'll probably want to reach out to various Fallout YouTubers and get them to do, like, a big party thing together, like, under slightly controlled circumstances at Bethesda's offices. I would strongly imagine they're thinking about that, and if they do, I would be surprised if they didn't ask me. I have a good relationship with the Bethesda lot. Uh, mainly because I'm the only one, mainly because I'm the only prominent Fallout YouTuber that seems to like Fallout 3. <laughs> All the rest of them hate it. <laughs> Buys me some kudos locally, it's marvellous. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, thoughts on Fallout 76 in general? I like the card system. I like the fact everyone starts off on special one across the board and you have to build that up. I, I think the card system looks really interesting and fun. I hope it doesn't mean everybody gets to fill every role and everyone gets to be a jack of all trades. I hope there's like, you know, there's something in the weighting of the cards you receive that mean like, you know, it, it, in, it encourages doubling down. I mean, I guess the special system does because like, you know, if you if you rush to having 10 in, some, in a particular special stat early on, then logically you trade away cards that don't use that 10 for cards that do. So you trade cards with other people. So I honestly think that's actually kind of interesting. I think that's actually genuinely kind of interesting. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think it looks like it's good. I, I like the idea of the nukes. The anti-griefing systems they've brought in, I think are positive. I think that actually sounds good stuff. I, I think it's all gonna, I think it's all gonna work out. I've, I've actually, you know, I'm feeling pretty positive about it. And like, I've never really been super into like an online Thing where you're like, you know, it's not just always online, but actually like being online and being with other people is actually a big part of it. I've never been into that. So I'm I'm genuinely like really interested in it. I think it's going to be really cool. And I think it's going to be really cool because I'm going to want to play a lot of it, probably more than people who I know who are not so well known prominently as Fallout YouTubers. And that's going to mean there's going to be times I'm just going to want to play it for a bit. To like, you know, grind up my character a bit. Just get a few extra levels. Because I won't necessarily want to show off like 100% of it. Because, you know, inevitably in an online game there's going to be a slight element of grind. 
And that's going to mean, I think there's going to be, like, times I'm just going to literally, like, stand up and, like, say on Twitter, like, hey, I'm going to jump on Fallout 76. Does anyone want in? And I think, like, three, like, of you guys could you, we'll just have that opportunity, like, you know, all the time. I'll just be on and, like, people can just play with me. And I think there'll be, like, a lot of opportunity for other people to play with me. And I think that's really cool. And I'll do, like, you know, a proper a main series with, like, other people. And I have already had some discussions about roughly what format that might take. But I know for a fact I'm going to want to play more than the people I've been discussing it with. So, as a result of that, there is, you know, there's, there's a good chance that, like, you know, because each of us will be doing stuff independently. If I'm, like, you know, a couple of levels higher between parts, I just say at the beginning, this is what I've picked up. I've kind of, you know, I've just upped my, my strength by two and I've got this extra card. This is what I picked up off screen. This is where we are now. And then we continue where we were. I don't think that's actually really a, I don't think that's going to be a problem at all. So that will be very, very cool indeed. Is Claire going to be in your Fallout 76 videos? Fallout is not Claire's thing. Claire doesn't like real-time stuff. Claire really likes turn-based and strategic stuff. Um, or if it's real-time, like she likes real-time with pausing or stuff like that. Claire likes her games a bit more slow and considered. So a shooter that's like real-time and whatever the new VAT system looks like, it's not going to appeal to Claire. It's not her thing. So, Claire, I really doubt Claire will be making any form of an appearance. I cannot see that happening at all. A couple of people mentioning Fallout Tactics. Honestly, I don't rate it that highly. Like, you know, if I was going to go back to another old Fallout at this point, I'd go back to Fallout 2, which is going to happen at some point, at some point or other. So, we'll see. We'll see. I think it will be. I think it will be good. I think in '76 there'll be plenty of chances potentially to play along with me in various times. So I think it'd be really cool. Uh, and yeah, that is uh, that is where we are. So where are we now? We're coming up on eight. I'm gonna stop right here because you know I've actually got to stop in time for the first video. Well, technically not my video. Technically it's Dan's video. But the next part of the crew too, which I think is being really cool. Like I love the crew too. I think it's, it's it's very different. It's really kind of marmitey. Some people absolutely love it. Some people just don't get it and hate it because it's not like it's not like the traditional stuff. Because like I think that's I think that's why me and Dan and Matt work nice together. It's because we're not all the same. We're, I think we're complementary. I think we're complementary. And oh, just a thank you again to uh, to Math Gamer at the end. You just donated a quick two euros at the end here, saying, "Will you be streaming Three Kingdoms at like Rome Total War?" No, a hundred percent not. When Three Kingdoms does come out, it'll be a proper series. Like I almost never do like the first time through a game as a live stream. Like live streams are for games I know in some capacity and want to just kind of explore in a slightly more chill capacity so no that will be a proper that'll be a, I've, I've seen that question being asked before i'm not sure where the idea that i'd i'd live stream a total war game for the first time would be like i've literally never done that like warhammer 1 warhammer 2 thrones of britannia all of them have come out while i've been doing total war on the channel every single one of them has been a series i've never live streamed a total war game like first up so i'm not sure where people are getting the idea i might do that from i'm not sure if i like i accidentally badly phrased something at some point I, I don't know. I don't know. So, we'll end things off there, ladies and gentlemen. And, oh, thank you at the end as well to Techno Jinx, who actually was just one of the new members. As YouTube now calls sponsorships because everything can never just change the cocking same. It always has to constantly change. Oh, God, just keep things named as they are, please. Keep things as they are. Oh, and, and def one series to definitely watch out for. Oh, I, I keep a close eye on the Stellaris development diaries. They're completely redoing the way planets work, like getting rid of the tile system and replacing it with something that looks way more interesting. It looks so cool. It looks so damn cool. You don't even know. It looks so nice. So, I'm going to call, I'm going to end things off there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to bring things over to that. We're just going to wrap things up there. So, in five minutes' time, over on NerdCube, there'll be next part of Crew 2. And. 10 p.m. on my channel. I enjoyed Crisis quite a lot, so let's have a little Luxie at Crisis 2. <laughs> oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's a hilarious game, absolutely hilarious game. So this is going to be this is going to be lovely. But also, thank you, thank you for spending my kind of sort of like the Queen's birthday. It's like my second birthday. Given Tabby's just asleep in a corner and can't be bothered, and Given, you know, Claire has just pissed off to who knows where. I don't know. 
Claire just, you know, doesn't like me enough to actually hang out with me on my birthday. But you people did. You people did. So I'm going to say that each and every one of you is now Claire. Alright, if anyone asks you, especially Claire, you can now tell Claire that she is no longer Claire. You are Claire. Okay, she can be other Claire. Each and every one of you are now primary Claire. And on that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to love you and leave you to actually go and, yeah, have a quick chat with Matt. See if I can actually figure out, yeah, if I can actually get the uh, the link to uh, the Cruiser episode. Because I don't have it right now, so I don't know where it's going to be. So, thank you very much, the many, many Claire's, for joining me on my birthday. I'm sure we'll have FTL back at some point in the future for ever since. But in the meantime, I've been Jonas. It's been many a true nerd. Thank you all so very, very much for joining me on this wonderful birthday stream. And thank you all to the all of the super chat. It's been incredibly ludicrously generous. It's it it <laughs> it makes me slightly emotional. It makes me slightly emotional. So thank you all so very, very much for being here, for chatting, for wanting to watch this, for all the donations, for everything. Just for everything in general, and hopefully I will see you again for this next year, but I'm sure there'll be FTL before that. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Oh shit, wait, no, no, don't go. I forgot about the song. I forgot the song. We've got a song. Uni Rob had a song. Wait, 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 wait. Well, Uni Rob's gonna play us out with the song. I'm so sorry. I hope it. Has everyone already. Oh, everyone's already gone. It's fine. It's okay. We've got, we've got the song. We've got the song. Play us out, Uni Rob. Play us out. No, I'm pushing all the wrong buttons. Wait, hang on, hang on. I need to. I need to, I need to kill, I need to kill this, there we go, right, it's fine, I need to, I need to, I need to kill this, right, I've killed that, now this, this needs to go, this now needs to go up to here, right, and now I need to, why does this not go, why does this not, why is this not opening, Thomas, Thomas, why does it not work, doesn't work, Thomas, why does it not, okay, what do I need to convert it to? Use it plus for Google Twins. Trying to figure this out. Just trying to stop helping. This isn't helping in the slightest. Oh God! What is this? What is this? It, it's view and manage. It's, 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 I, I don't know. Possibly. It doesn't work. Why doesn't it work, Thomas? It doesn't. Oh God! Help! I've only got two minutes until the crew two comes out. Thomas! It doesn't. It doesn't work. It won't play. Oh no! Right, okay, just just try and do this. Music, music, plan for good. Is it, 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 is Oh, here we go! Goodbye! So, what's happened in the last year, John, that you've done to make this channel especially fun? Aside from the memes and the themes and strategies, and of course the occasional fantasy from open plan bathrooms and sexing everything, and the one or two times we've heard you improv sing, when a dust storm starts and the frost bites and fallout, we know that the ladies and gentlemen will all shout, Happy birthday to John, to many a true nerd, we all love you, even if you can be absurd. From the ancient Romans to travelling space, we wouldn't care if an egg box is your real face. Happy birthday to John, to many a true nerd, we all love you, even if you can be absurd. It's always really funny even if you rarely cuz you started the legend of Julianus Vitina, yes. Anniversaries and a start Stellaris, not to mention the end of the love of Julianus, a whole year filled with sky and more. If you say you're not overworked, are you quite sure? We all know that Brave gave you a big scare. This was also the start of the cult of Claire and John's army as well and the Tabby Union, so I think it's time you choose a game and have a little fun. Happy birthday to John, to many a true nerd, we all love you even if you can be absurd. I know we give Thomas a really bad time, but at at least all your names are easy to rhyme. Happy birthday to John, to many a true nerd, we all love you, even if you can be absurd. It's always really funny, even if you rarely cuss, let's just hope that the comments won't make a big fuss.
ready for more games, get ready for more. Let's see what this next year will have in store. Get ready for more games, get ready for more. Let's see what this next year will have in store. You better get ready, get ready for more. Let's see what this next year will have in store. Get ready for more games, get ready for more. At least watching John is never a bore. Happy birthday to John, to many a true nerd, we all love you, even if it can be absurd. From the ancient Romans to travelling space, we wouldn't care if an eggbox is your real face. Happy birthday to John, to many a true nerd, we all love you, even if it can be absurd. It affected our lives in more ways than one, all I can say is, happy birthday John.